Okay, and we are live. Right, so I'm not going to do the voice because this yeah, is a big intro. I got crap. Hello, dedicated fans. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Right, so you have decided to do a heist against the Mardoon Undervolt to gain yourself possession of the of Pandax Knob, which you so carelessly lost right back at the beginning of the adventure. You have, with the help of um, the Trebane family, been given a way to bypass the alarm on the entrance to the vault, and you have been informed that Anselm Mardoon frequently takes uh, takes advantage of the services of the landlocked lady, and he is the key holder for the entrance to the Mardoon vault. So you have planned to somehow get his key and his amulet while he is in the landlocked lady and then immediately make your way over to the warehouse in the northern clover to break in, steal the dunamis, steal a whip for Tatia Trebane and then leave Shady Creek in the dust. Uh, it is the morning of the day you plan to to commit the heist and it is now up to you what you do uh, first of all um, Pandak, can you give me a constitution saving throw please absolutely can is that a no VD? oh yeah <laughs> yes, no, no. <laughs> no, <but> ISTI <laughs> um, you, f- <laughs> you don't feel the VD, so. you don't feel the best but um you know, you, it's not that you're not your best morning, but you don't feel too bad. You, you reckon you can get on with, without any problems. Um, Sindan, you did get delivered to you the previous evening a sample of the fey grass, which was left for you by the uh, by the the shepherds in yes. a little plant pot. Can I make uh, some form of uh, nature check or arcana check to figure out the nature of this this stuff? You can give me a nature check, yeah. Okay. Is this the morning after we've had a rest? Yes. Okay. I'm so, I mean, if you wanted to do space. something on the night before, then we, we can do that. Um, no, I just want to maybe change my prepared spells. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, in here. Uh, yeah, so long rest. So if you want to change prepared spells or anything, then go ahead. Um, yeah, so you've, you've spent some time looking at this before you, you go to bed. And it does seem to be a species of plants, uh, a species of grass that you are familiar with from the time that you spent uh, in the in the woods. But it has been twisted by some kind of unnatural influence. And Do you, I be- know you believe that that, uh, that would be transmissible to anyone who who ingests it, uh, which is borne out by what happened to the sheep. Okay. Do I know how it might be affected alternatively by magic? You don't. Okay. I mean, you can give me an arcana. Well, your nature check of, of that rank um, suggests that you, you think this is purely, this is not arcane. This is something else. Uh, and again, with the name Feygrass, you think this is connected to the Feywild, connected to, obviously, the curse of the, the Salavir Wood. But it's not magic. It's not arcane. Okay. Hmm. Do I know how the grass might be affected by a plant growth spell? Would it go nuts? Or is it likely to be... So you think it would probably grow, but you also think there's probably a chance for some other distorted effect to also happen, which you don't have a good idea of what that might be. Do I know with the nature check that I've made any way that I it could be uh, repelled or or a pesticide that might work against this grass that I could suggest to the farmers? So you think it's probably going to be susceptible to most kind of weed control that normal plants and grass are susceptible to? You think you may, with enough time and enough resources to be able to cleanse this plant of 
the inf- the the influence, but only this plant, and you think it would probably still be susceptible to re infection, re influence from. Uh, yeah. You you believe that there's going to be a root cause, um, but you don't think you can do anything about it this time. Fair enough. That's cool. All right. Um, I will leave the uh, the plant somewhere um, with the the innkeeper and tell him to to water it, but don't let anybody eat any of it. Um, I might be back for it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, is there anything else you need me to do for you? Yeah. Tell the farmers that obviously they need to eradicate these weeds, but that the spells that I was considering would probably do more harm than good. Um, and that I will continue to work in the, uh, in the background to see what I can do about this, but any direct help that I might have provided, uh, I'll give my apologies to them. Okay, I'll let them know. Okay. Uh, do any of you let the barkeep know that um, you're planning on doing the heist tonight? No. Um, well, that we, all we let him, I let him know is that we're thinking of, uh, we're thinking of leaving soon, town soon. Um, but we might have one last, one last. Uh, hold on. Hold on, we need to set it's, it's in the barkeep that we need to tell them for... Yeah, yeah. we do. Tatia yes, said yeah, for, for them to arrange your extraction. Yes, oh, so we do need right. to let the barkeep know. Well, All right. It's up to you whether you do or not, but Tatia said if you let the barkeep know tonight, then she will know that you will be attempting to get into the vault and she will have so- something ready to help extract you when you leave. I'm just going to uh, offer a bit of advice to be wary and to be on his guard afterwards because it wouldn't surprise me if she tries to double cross us. Okay. So we can we can alert the barkeep and 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 go for their extraction, or we can try to extract ourselves. Let's we'll see how it rolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and by the way, if anybody's got spells, if they got like flight or invisibility spells, it might be really useful. All right. That is a good call. Now, I got some interesting ones, but it will be discussion as to whether or not they're going to be any use. I have Charm Person, but I know somebody else does as well. Charm Person is always useful, as as we well know from Jeff's good, good old queefing. All right. Well, in that case, I can learn that. I've got uh, real... and invisibility, so they should help. Yeah. So I have... Um... Uh, I have some kind of control spells, some, some stuff, Reese, Fog Plug, stuff like that. Do we, Am I giving up on make... your wounds? It's giving up on what? Your wounds. No. Okay. No. In that case, i got to think of something else. I mean, we don't... I mean, I know Jeff has some healing, but that would be our, all of our healing, right? I think, if you got rid of Cure Wounds. That's okay. Uh, right. Outside of any potions you might have, yeah. We still um, still have some healing potions left. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't any spare potions. Let's not rely on Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was best I say, don't make me soul healer. I mean, that's just Let's... going in hilarity. Yes, that would be just in for trouble. Quim, 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 quim. I only have one healing potion left. Um. Do we have opportunity within the place to buy some more? Uh, you reckon you could probably pick some up at Septimus's? You mean? I think we should. I think we should. Um, I, I, it's dangerous for me to go, so how much is, does a healing potion normally go for? Uh, you've been buying them for about 50 gold each. Right. I'm going to... Uh, so, can, Jeff, can you do us a favour? Here's 100 gold. Can you get me two <laughs> healing potions? Pop shop, get me healing portion. <laughs> Pop that and shop. A, and a fat Rubicon. Get me a couple of portions. <laughs> and a pie. <laughs> Dear uh, pie. Really? I'm going to get change. Oh, I want change. I want change. I'm going to count real every quick. single silver. Uh, real quick, so am I familiar to the spider? And can I do my portent rolls as well? Uh, yeah, what's your portent roll? So it's the two d twenty. That's my like replace some spell. So it's fifteen and a four. Okay, that's actually quite good. It's one yeah, really good, good one, one of... and one really bad one. <laughs> yeah. 
Snow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Got those. Cool. And yeah, my familiar is a spider. It's because it's going to be most useful, I think. Okay. Okay, I've I've taken on enhance ability, which allows me to give any other character <laughs> one of several abilities. One of which is Cat's Grace, which gives you uh, extra dexterity, and you can fall twenty feet without taking any damage. Um, you can also lick I, your own butt. Well, yeah, there is that ability too. Yeah, I've got Loki. Hey, you bitch! I was just about to take a sip. <laughs> Do we think I need speak with plants? Probably not. I cannot see how that's going to be helpful. Although, no, you shouldn't have said it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'm I, not going to run into fucking speaking flytrap or some shit. We're, what does we're going to into a do? warehouse and we, we need to be sneaky. So we need, we need to be able to get in, get out, and then possibly heal straight afterwards in case we get into another fight. I hope we don't need to get into a fight if we can avoid it, which is why invisibility yeah, and flight is important. Stuff like that. Exactly. Or exactly. we do. So speak with plants, yeah. probably not useful. Nah. Do I have, um, I, I'm bringing grease and fog clouds, so when we're escaping, if there's like opportunities if we're being chased, Although, these, the kind of shit to stop people chasing us, like a fucking Scooby-Doo episode. Uh, if Jeff could do a bringing... fog cloud very well. If you're bringing grease and fog, oh. I'm bringing cocoon the return and uh, <laughs> phalangoliers. I'm bringing oh, phalangoliers. We're going north back into that forest where that dangerous bloody bastard bear is, right? The, the woman oh, when we first left that forest. I forgot about that. So, yeah. So, uh, wait, aren't we friendly with them? I don't I'm think so. Like, was at the time. Or you guys? <laughs> yeah. Um, we got we got one free pass from the crazy lady. But I think that's probably over. Yeah, it's probably. And the bear can't over. patrol the whole forest at once, right? This this can go wrong. It's only a Someone bear might have well. to spit on their hand and go say hello to the old lady. Well, Tom can just turn to a bear and you know assert dominance by um, mounting. <laughs> Great. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll back you up uh, on that. That's way, that problem Way back. <laughs> <laughs> So, did you say you were going to go into Septimus's to try and buy some stuff? Well, I've just been given a load of gold, so, no. <laughs> to the pub? <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's get some potions. Who, who's going in? I guess it's me, seeing as I've been given, I don't know how many golds. You've been given I'll 100 you. gold to, to get two potions of healing. Okie dokie. All, all of it for potions of healing. Aye. And a pie. I want and a pie. pie. <laughs> okay. Not uh, spit pie. So you, spit you, pie. Jeff and Andar, you make your way in and you see Septimus uh, at the back working on something and he looks up and says, Oh, hello, gentlemen. Good to see you back. What can I do for you? Yep. Uh, can I get a bulk deal on potions? He is under gold. And can you throw in a pie as well? Oh, we definitely do potions. Um, um, I'm afraid no pies. Uh, we Your have. Breaker. I have a very nice ring, as I said to you earlier, which I, I, I still don't understand why that was so amusing. I have some amulets. I have this very nice robe. Um, but yes, um, potions. Yes, I can do potions. Um, we do healing potions. We do uh, greater healing potions. So superior healing potions as well. What the price tag like? At uh, fifty gold for the for the standard healing potion, a uh, hundred gold for the superior healing potion. Probably makes sense to get two. Yeah, let's get uh, let's get two. Is, is there any wiggle room on the them. price? What about what about what about two, three for the price of two? There was a deal. Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid not. Uh, this far north, it's hard to get the supplies to make these potions, so my prices are... You don't even know what fair. north is! <laughs> 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 Literally in an ice cavern! But well, I wasn't, but... Uh... <laughs> charming, charming, charming! Yep. Do you make uh, a persuasion check? Persuasion, yeah, okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, I have no charisma, so this is all about you, bro. You have to sort this out. Uh, oh, I can see yep. that you're 
you 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 might you might be needing these. So okay, I'll 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 do it. Ninety gold for two potions for two standard healing potions. That's so fine with me. Knock ten gold off. Cool. Hey. Okay, I'll just go and get one for you. Uh, feel oh free to peruse in case you need anything else. So he goes. Second, he goes over here. I'm like, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Split, split, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a minute later he comes back and he hands you two red bottles. Cool. Nice. Um, don't give him a split. quick one. Split. <laughs> right, gotta, gotta give him a quick. Gotta give him a quick one so that makes sure the healing potions rather than like Ribena. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, give me I'll an arcana a, check. I'll do a quick arcana. Jesus, just... Oh, he deals that with the domains in there. Uh, an uh, 11? Oh. I mean, you've, you've spent a lot of time in study, and these look like how you've seen healing potions described, but as, as you've rarely had any encounters that required using them in your in your youth, you couldn't say for definite that that's what they are, but they certainly look like, like healing potions. I'm like, yeah, um, just bear with me a second and like, like Mr. Miyagi, uh, yeah, no, yeah, legit. I, I have a quick one, I have a quick one, sir, as soon as I just rolled 21. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they look like the same healing potions oh. you've been using all the adventure. Cool. I was hoping you'd find out they weren't, I'm just like, yeah. no, no, they're, they're legit. <laughs> well, Fake news. Right, <laughs> cool. Cheers, dude. All right. Um, you're welcome. Uh, yeah. If you find any interesting items while you're adventuring, come and see me first. I will give you a very good price for them. Will do, dude. Will do. Cool. Um, we'll leave. Let's okay. Yeah, before, we go, before we leave the shop, I give him five gold from the uh, change. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know that really hurts me personally, let alone my character. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, I'm up quite significantly in money from Davil, because if you remember, I I I absolutely lucked out a pickpockets on you and stole your fucking gold that you stole from me. Eh, don't worry, I will weak my Rewenge at some point. <laughs> okay, so you've uh, you've bought the healing potions that Davil sent you to get. You couldn't find his uh, copy of the Racing Post, but you know. That's how Did it I get my wood pine? No pas. No pa. No pa. Uh, okay, so um, anything else you want to do? Uh, no. Leave. I'll uh, pass the potions to uh, Davil when I get outside. Change. It's 50 oh. each, Matt. You can go and ask. You can just go and Jeff, ask how much. Roll a deception <laughs> check, please. Can I assist? Can I assist? Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> I if you try, he does it with it worse. <laughs> <laughs> right, roll a, per, roll a perception check, uh, Devil. Oh, God, you're probably going to get away with this. Yep, you got away with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 50 gold. That's quite a good price. Where's your pie? <laughs> <laughs> no pies, unfortunately. He didn't sell pies. <laughs> The only thing he was on for him was his ring, and I didn't think he wanted his ring, so... No, I don't need to penetrate his ring. Is there anything about penetrating? I thought you were going to eat it. <laughs> Dropped a ring in here last night. what you did to your pies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, we need to have a word with Pandak about his uh, lady friend. Yeah. So you, your plan was to... Uh, that Dimmy would... Uh, would put some extra stuff in Josephine's uh, little box on this evening, oh. <laughs> hopefully knocking out Anselm and allowing you to uh, do whatever you needed to do. Didn't we find out he was a complete asshole and deserved to die as well? Yeah, yeah but we're not going to... Like... No, that discussion was had. Yes. Yeah, that discussion yeah, was, was had. Let, it's, let... It's, it's a predator. Afterwards, you you free to do it, but we do the house first. But, but afterwards, we're not going to yeah. be able to because we're going to be boosting it. Let Demi put her hands in Josephine's box, all right? Yeah, yeah. Let let her put rat poison in that motherfucker. I thought you're going to contaminate the box. No, yeah, that was that was the idea in the end. That's the yeah, plan. yeah, yeah, we were, yeah. I know. I think we were going to overdose uh, him so that he, uh, he went right. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought hold he was going to be on. sleepy and you were going to stab him up. No, no, let me just point out. Oh, Ian's gone. 
No, no, I'm just um, resetting the focus. The, yeah, there, there were several right, options poison, that you right. put forward. One was trying to get him some poison. One was trying to just OD him a little bit to knock him out. Um, and then after that, there was discussions about whether or not you were just going to rob him, whether you were going to rob him and murder him. Right. Nothing. It, it, it was nothing we came to a decision. <laughs> if we put poison uh, in, in his in his stuff, then 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 the ladies at the landlock, the landlord, the ladies of the landlock lady, will get into trouble, which we don't want. How so about stab him up? Okay. Okay. I still say it's safe to hang around and stab him up afterwards. It'll be in enough on, trouble on, anyway on, on. from losing what? the keys. What if we kidnap him afterwards? And then we can use him as a trade in case we have some unfavorable situation that occurs down the road. Uh, to be and honest, if not, we could just stab him up and then leave be, him in the river. To be honest, he's probably going to get stabbed up anyway for losing the keys. Well, well rather him than us. Yeah, that yeah. is a, that is a distinct possibility. You think that if this heist goes well and they lose as much as they stand to lose, that it, it will he take will be punished. Him. Yes. Yep. Actually, if we take him, human shield at least. But if we take him with us, it immediately labels us as the thieves. Why mm. don't we? Set yeah. him up. Let's just plant some evidence. Good idea. Plant some evidence that's an, that's for him. Better idea. You know, say, oh, you'll see me next it. Then we walk Should away. Should we put a bit, put a bit of the powder, get some of that powder, and leave it in and in, in around the the things we steal in the vault where they were. Because he's yeah. a fucking sniffhead, so we were like, yeah. "Yeah, he's been on the powder and he's gone on a rob to pay for his you, pay for his sniff habit." Is it a perfect get, place get to do it? Cast of his fingerprints, and we'll, we'll put his fingerprints yeah. all over the place. It's oceans. Well, right. Fucking oceans eleven. <laughs> yeah, it's well, the actually, Italian job. Let's go. Yeah, he's <laughs> trusted, some it, cocoa it, it, powder, some cyanoacrylate glue. He, he has <laughs> he, he has the the key. So what we need to do is make sure that we can pull the heist off perfectly, uh, so he gets blamed. We need to put the keys back on him. Yep. Well, that's if we you knock him to, out. That you need to reverse. Difficult. You need to reverse pickpocket him and put the keys back on, because then oh. the only way that someone could have gotten in was with the keys. And if he has them, then only he can be responsible. Hold on. If he disappears at the same time we disappear, he'll be under suspicion because he's the guy with the keys. Now, there's nothing to say that when he's drugged up, we don't leave the uh, the landlocked lady with him draped over our shoulders. And then quietly drown him in the river and let him go downstream while we didn't do the heist. Yeah, but it's better if he gets blamed than he gets executed for it. It's better if he gets jo found Jordan, and you're blamed. muted. Yeah. I can I can see you no, you're not. working, but oh. no he is. He's I can hear you. Oh it's probably just it's probably just mumbling. Oh. <laughs> go on. Well, you know, they they're gonna know they've been robbed. They're gonna know that he lost the keys. So we need to do something with him otherwise he's going to blame the prostitutes and one yeah. of them's going to get it in the neck so what if we put if what if we do we put powder in and around in the vault so that it kind of links to him but then but then we do kidnap him we kidnap him so that he we take him out the we take him out the, the lady we put the keys back on him and we leave him somewhere on our way running away with a bunch of powder, so it looks like he robbed all the shit, sold oh, it, and bought more no, fucking drugs. Oh no! Let's let's put the keys on him, put that fairy grass in his pocket, and leave him by the farm. And one one of the sheep might come again, sheep. and it might do him anyway. The fucking sheep <laughs> might eat him. Yes, I like that it. idea. That's I the, like yeah. that idea. <laughs> we have a plan. That's that's the plan. plan. Sorry, Tom, you're gonna have to give up your fairy grass sample. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking, yeah. There we go. We, we'll grab that on oh, the way you out. Can, yeah, you can make it grow slightly, so it's, you know... Absolutely, yeah, I can stick it in his pocket, right. and then I'll... I so, can do... so, oh, okay, so he needs, he needs to get poisoned or, like, like overdosed so that he falls unconscious, but we need some more of that powder, then we need to sprinkle it at the, at the scene, we need to do the heist, then we need to go and get him and take him to the field, put the grass in his pocket and leg it. Some yeah. Christopher Nolan Any level fucking shit. Is this Chris all within a dream or? No, no we only to go back on our own timeline. Once we unleash this flock of zombie sheep and they finish him off, they'll then take the town. Okay. Not my on. problem. Let's go. We then come back as heroes to save the town. To we could. Them. They know that. It'd be a hell of a distraction they for us to get out. 
They know Very they've true. got a problem with the fairy grass. We know there's a guy that is incompetent at his job, so it all fits. Yeah, he'll take the rap. Mm. And we ain't coming back. And then, and then, and then they'll definitely pay you to fix it next time. Because they'll be like, look what bloody happened last time we didn't take care of the fairy grass when that handy tall person came and tried to help us. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we have a plan. And it's I'm okay with us doing this to the to that key guy, the, the, the fucking guard guy, because he's a fucking sexual predator and beats up women. So we're all good on the alignment scale. Let's go fucking do, ruin this dude's life. <laughs> okay. It, it sounds like there's a plan there somewhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to drink tonight, but I think I need to reassess that choice. Mm. <laughs> I think it's a requirement at this point now. Okay. I am yep. still here. I've just turned my camera off momentarily as my daughter's coming in. Okay. That's right. All right. Um, so, is there anything you need to do prior to making your way to the lady on the evening? Is there anything you want no, to do? No, we can get the powder. We need powder. We can get the powder at the lady. We can get the powder at the lady. We can get the fake grass either from Tom's uh, from from Sindan's sample or when we take him over to the field, right? Because there's some by the fields. Right? Hey, well, I'll go and grab the. I'll I mean, grab the. Sample. Will be, I, I, I'll it grab will the sample. Be so. in the pocket. Yeah. Okay, so if Sindan we'll gets a sample, get then the that's. We've got. Yeah. Um, enough. We've enough got everything else in good. place. Right. Um, okay. I think so. Yeah. So. I need to when go get... to the landlord lady, but is everyone else? Is everyone coming? Yeah. So where where is everyone going to go? We don't want to all go to an lady. We need this to be quiet, so we need to to, to... Needs to be subtle. So Pandak needs to drop off the drugs. So uh, also Pandak, a... buy some extra powder while you're there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to pocket some powder. To... Yeah. So you know that if you ask for it, it'll be in the room with Jimmy yeah. with you. So. Yeah. And so where's um, everyone else going to be? Yeah. So where's everyone else? So I think it makes sense for us to make at least some of the way towards the the, the warehouse where the vault is. Yeah. Were we not uh, at think... the warehouse yep. last time? Um, so we're, not, we're not. You cased it the look. previous evening, yeah. Uh, we Just yeah. 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 You, yeah, we went to have a look at you the might, guard schedule and stuff. It might be worth paying off the both the ladies for the evening. Just to make sure, even though if the, if he's been such an asshole as he is, uh, they probably will be grateful for you knocking him out. But mm -hmm. it might be worth also paying their fees for the evening as well, just to make sure they they definitely won't tell. Yeah, out of your pocket, Pandak. Yeah, hold on a second. <laughs> Check my own. Okay, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's going to be ten gold for the room and the and the um and the drugs, and it's going to be another three gold if you want to have. Uh, the room for the evening. Those are the standard rates. Oh, so if you pay thirteen, you'll get you'll get uh, uh, a bit of hoo ha, a bit of a bit of sniff, and a room for the night. Right. Do you have a loyalty card? Because I do. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're already on two at the moment, aren't you? So oh, you got yeah, to cool. rip the sticker off the side. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can get a stamp. Yeah, does she have, buy does a, she have a peel off sticker on like... her rib cage? <laughs> it's, it's a scratch and sniff card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cheap. Yeah. It's like car payment, collect, get worried. Collect the smells. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so who's going where? So, so, so the only other thing, uh, your idea about paying people off made me think there's two guards on the bridge. So when we leave that place, we're going to look sketch as fuck to go over, disappear in there, and then come back. Do we want to pay them off? I used to work. Why are we coming back? I used to work in town, though. So I can just say I'm ex we can just make some sort of excuse that we're escorting you out of town. Yeah. Why are you coming back? Then we're going to come business straight business. back. Why, why are you well, we coming back? Well, yeah. somebody needs to go back to the, to the lady. To well, that's easy. Now. We can send we can send Gob back by himself or Gob with Pandak. And that's well, it. yeah, okay. I, I okay, thought yeah. Cool, cool, cool. the I way you were describing it was I thought some of you were going to go over to the warehouse and wait, and then the people that were dealing with Anselm were going to go and Anselm. deal with Anselm and then meet you at the warehouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The but they're not I bringing thought, Anselm. Then. But they're not bringing Anselm but with no, them. Then right? afterwards, no. then after, after someone's going to have to go get okay. him, put him in. Yeah. 
Because it makes Trust sense me, for Rob to go to back. It makes sense for Pandak to go back because he's electric. So close. I'm so close. <laughs> I've got a gift card. <laughs> Maybe you can show them the gift card code. I'm coming back to fill in the last section. Mm. Yeah, so everybody then, I think everyone except Pandak goes to the warehouse then, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'll, I'm going to take the quick way over, as in swim across, because I still don't want to be seen by the guards. Okay. Oops, uh, you've, got, you've got enough time that you can do that, so I'm not going to make you yeah. out for it. And I would say that you do it early enough in the afternoon that you can... Right dry off. off or yeah sort yourself out yeah. before the uh, before the engagement okay have a little so, nap everyone bar panda can make their way over the bridge uh as you as you all walk over the guards sort of look over and uh, just eye you up is there anything you say as you approach the end of the bridge Rob, shuffle. i presume someone's mus- mu- muffling me like literally <laughs> muzzling these people, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, all right, Gob. Uh, they finally, uh, finally met some people that uh, won't put up with that little gobshite little mouth. Yeah. Well, you know, don't be too gentle on them. Off you go. Gob. Yeah, you tell him. Uh, okay, so you Hi. make it over, no problem. <laughs> uh, okay, Pandak. <laughs> You make your way into the into the landlocked lady, and you see uh, Champ behind the desk again. It's like, wow, really? Three evenings in a row? Uh, I, 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 I assume... There's an itch I can't scratch. Oh, <laughs> and he gets he gets very <laughs> agitated. That it's like, oh, please, please. We don't, we don't, no witches here. We don't like that talking here, please. Um, uh, the usual uh, arrangements, uh, ten, 10 for Jimmy and oh, the one there. With, I, I think I, I need a little bit of extra motivation this evening, if that can be arranged. Um, well, we, we how how much extra motivation? Just, just something to to sniff on before I begin. Oh yes, uh, d- yes, th- we can definitely arrange that. Uh, that's yeah. uh, um, five gold and five gold for Jimmy. Okay, yeah, and then I think I want to stay the night if that's all right. Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, an extra three gold, and, and you can you can stay the evening. Perfect. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, excellent. It takes your money off you. Um, I believe she's free now. Actually, it, it's about uh, five in the afternoon. The sun's just mm-hmm. starting to come down. Uh, I believe she's ready now. If you want to go up. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there you go. She's in the same room as yesterday. Cool. All right, I head up. Um, okay. So, walk very inconfident as ever. No one's doing <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Um, you can hear wow. the, your theme tune in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a wrestler. Well, you can say about the way I'm thinking it's more Benny Hell, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you you let yourself in the room and Dimmy's there waiting for you. Oh, hello, Pendak, hey. darling. Really, three nights in a row. I must be, must be my lucky my lucky week. Are you here to to take me away from this naughty place? Um, absolutely, as long as you've held up your side of the bed. Oh, about what, what we, we yes. spoke about yesterday, yeah. Yes, um, uh, I did go and put some some extra. Some extra powder in in Josephine's box uh, this morning, so she can she can uh, hopefully Anselm will, uh, will will take the hint and, and over and buy a bit of a bit. You mentioned you may be able to make this a more permanent solution to our problems. Uh, is that is that something? That is, that is the aim that we're going for. Okay. Um, Nothing to worry about, though. You just um, you just stay here, and we'll it'll all work out. Okay. Um, may I ask you what your plan for him is? It's going to be. I'd rather not have a dead body in my. No, no. It will be. It will, it will not be in the manor, lady. Nothing will be able to be tied back to you. Okay. Don't worry about that. Thought about that. Okay. But I've got quite a big night ahead of me, so I might put my head down. Can you wake me up? 
Oh, you're going to sleep? Oh, very well. Yeah. I'll, I'll be here. <laughs> I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> You're all okay. stood over there, like, just fucking shattered, and he's just having a nap. <laughs> yeah, she's not, not used to this kind of uh, this kind of arrangement, but she's getting paid, so she doesn't care. Um, about an hour after you uh, settle down, um, you get shaken awake, and you get a little, little bit of dribble on off your beard. And you go, well, he's here. Came in about five minutes ago, and you can already hear it's, uh, it's getting a bit um, noisy in there. After about five minutes of that... He goes quiet, and then after about another five minutes, you hear a on the wall between the two rooms, and uh, Jimmy then says, "Oh, that, that's our signal. He's um, he's he's away with the fairies." Okay. Um, thank you very much for your help and to pay for your your assistance and um, your friend's evening. I chuck kind of another fifteen gold. Passover, maybe, is more of a... Oh, thank um, you. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you for everything. I'll, I'll, make, sure that, I'll make sure that it gets to her. Um, <laughs> uh, give, give, give me one second. I'll make sure the, the coast is clear. So she, she stands up, opens the door, pulls it almost closed, and then after about five, ten seconds, she sticks her head in and motions to you. You can leave the room. Yeah, and then, I'll put my trousers back on. Can't sleep in my trousers, and then head out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> head out, and it's immediately in the door next door. So you go in, and yeah. you can see um, a, a worried-looking girl sat on a on the chair in the corner of the room, um, looking a little little concerned. And on the bed is this hairy man, spread out, um, spread eagled, hair all dishevelled, uh, snoring away. And you can see he's got some dust on his uh, on his beard i kind of do a thumbs up to the girl and beckon her over so um and then whisper on the poisoning <laughs> well yeah good good job um do you know where her trousers ended up uh she looks around and she points to uh there's like a dressing screen in the corner of the other corner of the room and you can see they're slung over that right so then i go just go on go with um go with them in Relax, relax out a bit. Okay, so she heads out the door and pulls it closed. Head over, head over to um, root through the guy's belongings. Okay, uh, so you root through his stuff and you do find a, 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 a an iron ring on which there is a, a large iron key and an amulet on a on a chain, a bit like a, a, a key ring. Mm -hmm. And it's got, it looks like a bunch of twisted snakes in like a, in a, in a small ball. Not very nice looking. Okay. So I pocket, I pocket those. Okay. Did we need any magic words or anything from the... Oh, we needed that amulet. I you think needed it was the just amulet. The... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I pocket both of those and... Look over, walk over, look at his body and go, you should be on fire. But then walk off. Okay. <laughs> so this um, is what happens when Pandak puts something special in the wrong box. Yeah. Okay. So Jim. I head, head straight out of the landmark like, lady as quickly as I can. But like, Did you forget anything? Um, Did so... you forget anything? I don't think so. Did you pocket anything? Any additional item? For dusting around on the... Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, I nip back into the That's only room. That's game, so yeah. I don't think that counts. Like, you fucked yeah. up. So your, con your consciousness <laughs> in the back of your head going, oh, I'm missing something, I'm missing something. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you head, you head back into your room and you gather up the little packet of, uh, of, uh, of dust. And, and I kind of say to the girls, just don't go in that other room. Um, just, leave, just leave him. Is he paid for for the night? He's he's still alive, yeah. Just don't worry about it. Just don't go in there. Okay. Just trust trust me. And then okay. I kind of look over at Dimmy, give her a wink, and say, and then leg it. God, you you cut out just the wrong time then, so I'm going to have to headcanon whatever that was. 
It was. <laughs> I'm sure it was, sure it was great, whatever it was. <laughs> okay, so you make your way out. Uh, Champ notices you going out. It's about like uh, half six now in the evening. Mm-hmm. Says, uh, we, you know, we can we can provide you food here. You don't need to leave. Uh, no, no, no. I've, I've got a, um, I've got a business meeting that that I completely forgot about. So I've just got to run back over to the trench and, and sort some stuff out. Okay. Do you need me to clean the room before you return? No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be. That's fine. I'll be okay. back. And there are certain things in a certain way that I like. Them. Uh, very well. Uh, and that's it. You're out. You've got the oh. key. You've got the amulet. So I nonchalantly stroll through town. Mm-hmm. Oh, speed running. <laughs> Realising that I don't actually know where the warehouse is, so I haven't... You did, you went last night. Oh, fine. Yeah, oh, fine. you, you okay. do know where you're going, so... Alright, that's lucky. So I head over, to the, and... <laughs> head over to the bridge and head out. Okay. So it's gone full dark now, so I will... Where's the map? There it is. No. Is well, it, I'm pretty is sure it a good idea yeah, to grab a there. to grab a coffee before we uh, start the actual heist. If you want one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get a beer. BRP. How's everybody been anyway? I have been enjoying my holiday. Yeah, good. Yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's been a busy week. Are we streaming or not streaming? We are streaming. Okay. In that case, I'll put that on for a minute. <laughs> going to mention Friday, but I'm not. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was interesting. Oh. oh. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'll bring this up later, okay? Change of underwear was needed at one point. <laughs> yeah. You have all the fun to come back to, Tom. Okay, now you got me fucking worried. No, there's no, nothing, there's no, nothing no, to worry it's about. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> or is there? No, there's not. Well, no, don't there's play not. <laughs> not nice. I'm looking at different tariffs for my mobile phones. I haven't swapped mobile phone tariff in like fucking years, I think. How long have you had the same number? I, I ask, because I, I seem different and odd, because I've had the same number for 20 years. Same. I've had the same yeah. number for... for lo- And I lost my number, so... Um, years and years ago, whenever... Um, Apple moved to the micro-SIM. I think it might have been the 3GS, maybe, or something. Um, and whenever you went in, O2 were doing like a SIM swap. So they would take out the new micro SIM, scan the barcode, and then port your number across onto the SIM. So I went um, the dead cot of all places and uh, got my new phone, and everything was supposed to be working. Old SIM went dead, new one activated. I was getting phone calls for some dude called Brian. I'm like, there's no Brian here. And they're like, no, it is. And then I phoned my number and yeah, it just didn't connect. And somehow when they did the SIM swap, I got like the guy that was standing beside me at the Tills number instead. <laughs> and then O2 were like, yeah, we can't get your number back. Um, I'm like, I've had that number for like six, seven years. I'd really like it back. Like right. number. No. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, we, we messed up somehow that it ended your contract. So you need to give us like 300 quid. Because it was like a brand new contract that they had then cancelled. And one of our customers' wife actually worked in the customer services of, of O2. And uh, she was like, give me 20 minutes. And then disappeared and came back and went, uh, 
your number should flip back over in the next day. Um, I've got you six months free <laughs> line rental and stuck a family and friend discount on it as well. It's like, nice. Result? Yeah, Result. so I've had the same number for, like, from whenever I was at school. You know, but how do we ever get anything solved without nepotism? You know, that mm -hmm. yeah. we need more of that in the world. Yeah. So yeah, how long have I had that number? So I got that phone when I started at secondary school. Oh, yeah. We didn't have mobile phones when we were at school. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I had to get... guys? <coughs> so I would that have been was... what? I think that I would have been first, first phone when I was like 18, when I was legally allowed to get one, and it was a Nokia NK402 brick thing. Mm. I, I bought a I house before I owned a mobile phone, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Nokia 232, which I bought back in 96. Uh, and the, then it, B, it got BT hacked. Cell it, that thing. Yeah, it, was, it got hacked because it was an old analog phone. And then I just cancelled it because I got an on-call phone. And then when I was buying my first house, uh, the phones at work went down. So I went out and bought myself a mobile and I still got the same number. So that's 20 mm. odd years old. Now. I remember the first phone I got, the SIM card was literally the size of a credit card that slipped yeah. in the bottom of the yeah. phone. Oh, yeah, uh, my the, dad with a pull-out antenna. Well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the analog yeah. ones didn't have SIM cards either. You, you, you had the, they were in the firmware configuration one. You just put the number in. So if you wanted to copy somebody else's phone number and use their bill, you just changed it in the firmware. As in, there was a hidden menu option to go into it and do it. Yeah, which would have been impactful if more than about three people could afford a mobile phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was something like, it was, uh, it was over 50p a minute to make calls. And I had uh, £6.50 worth for three minutes a, a month. Is that, Dave, is that a mobile or did you just have a cordless phone? That came no, it was a mobile. It was, it was a proper mobile. Yeah, they used to be analog. <laughs> yeah. This, this is one of my early mobiles. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and oh, I'm, wow. Actually, I'm coming next week and oh. delivering this to Bletchley and it's going into the museum. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, Do you remember when mobile oh, contracts didn't have um, limits on data? Well, remember it was well, unlimited yeah. data? I'm still yep. on it. Yeah, and now it's like unlimited calls, but limited data. It's like the complete inverse of the... No, as the... 3D limit, unlimited yeah. data is a standard package now. Really? Yeah. I've been... Yeah, know, I've E and O2 too. all cancelled it. Yeah, because E and O2 are garbage yeah. companies run by garbage people. No, I've got yeah. unlimited data on O2. I'm on O2 and have unlimited but data. But you know, yeah. if they want to sponsor the stream, then, you yeah. know, <laughs> own me. <laughs> On, on my three phone. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually have unlimited data because you know it's. Uh, by the way, my first phone. There it is. It's a one G phone. Um, I, I don't have unlimited data because I never use anywhere close to the four gig allowance that I have. Four gig. What? Need more friends, mate. <laughs> yeah. Go out more. Turns his dude, dude, have you looked and seen around what's data. happening in the world? Still oh, people are getting using more data than you. People oh. are getting vaccinated and going outside. Is that what's happening? I've barely been outside, but even still, I don't know how you'd use that much data. <laughs> in, in the month, enough to download in porn, which I don't do. Okay, so <laughs> lies. <laughs> You've made it to the warehouse. Pandak has upon his person the uh, the key and the amulet. Yes. Yeah, so when I when I arrive, I kind of get them out and. Who wants these? And then pretend to throw them on top of the roof. Oh, no, actually. Got them back in my pocket. <laughs> okay, so it's about like seven in the evening now, and you know that in about half an hour, um, the wizard apprentice is going to come and make a delivery. <laughs> That's what you know. See, look out for a lot of fucking brooms. <laughs> Can we work wizard sleeve into the story somehow? Yeah, does he um, keep it wouldn't the... surprise me. I was going to say, but does he keep the things up his wizard sleeve? You know? <laughs> he might keep. He keeps his armies up his wizard sleeve. Is yeah. <laughs> keeps his armies up his sleeve. Is. <laughs> uh, do you wait for that to happen? Do you do anything before that happens? Do you I, want to I want to do of... a bit of a, a, of a wee recon. Sphere. Okay. So... so can I just move? I'm going to stealth. And yeah. I'm going to stealth all the way around here. Right. Can you draw me a stealth check, please? Um. 
Wow, it's, it's, oh, it's, in, Are we on the it's undoing the lighting as I move. Yeah. That's yes, it does. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. Uh, Have you upgraded your account? Yes. Ah, right, right. stealth. So, so you roll. Oh, that was a perception. Right, I was about to say, you roll a three and. No, loudly 16. Belch. Okay, so yeah, you, uh, you're you very quiet and you make your way around the corner and, I mean, you can see what you can see. So at the back of the, the warehouse, opposite to the main entrance, you can see that there is some um, uh -oh. some crates and some barrels stacked up against the rear of the warehouse and there's these... T uh, actually, what can you see? And there's these... You can see at least one building opposite it. You can see from where you are that there is a very small window up high on the structure. Yeah. Uh, it's just, just here. You can't. I, okay. Oh yeah, I can't. Oh, see we can't that. see that. You, you can't. can't see. You yeah, can't yeah, see yeah. what devil can see. Yeah. Oh. So just nice. to remind myself, um, that's pretty um, the, the 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 amulet and the and the uh, ring that's been taken from what's his face is to disengage the, the magic alarms, isn't it? Yes, it's to disengage. No, so you've got the uh, BioShield 5G to disable the magic alarm. You've got the key to open the door to the entrance, and you've got yeah. the, the amulet, which uh, Tatian knew that you needed to get in. She doesn't know exactly what it does, but she knows she, you needed to get in. Who, right. who is the most stealthy? Me. Okay. In, you... Unless Jeff's rolling his normal dice. Uh... <laughs> No, my, my stealth's pretty shite. It's I have a plus, plus, I got a plus five. three on stealth. Got a plus three on stealth. Yeah, I'm plus three. Hey, I can actually I'm turn into an three. animal. I can turn into an animal and just wander around like a stray dog. That would also work, but you might get uh, things thrown at you. You might. That's fair. That doesn't oh, oh, typical bloody like John. Arrows. Literally, <laughs> I do something that's literally my purview. John with hardly any ability <laughs> trumps me every time. Okay, so what are you doing with your stealth? It's just going to creep up behind it, me and then pat me on the shoulder, isn't it? Just tickle you in the ear. Just like, better yeah, than you. <laughs> Scare the what shit out I... of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, while we're, while we're here, you should notice Jeff and Andar in the... Um, in Roll20, you should see... Options for dancing light and wizard's light. Can you see those? Uh, uh, Under the um, the journal. Uh, uh, In the journal. Yeah, wizard light. Yes. So it, you, if you familiar joke dog. Yeah. I can see joke dog and dancing light. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So when you cast your spells, rather than telling me where you want to put your lights, you can just drag those onto the map and place them. Ooh. And they will automatically. Oh, yeah. Satan. Um, I've just put one there by accident because I was yep. just testing that out. <laughs> I light up right in front of the guard. Get away <laughs> position. Right, I'm, I'm going to carry on creeping my way around with probably Jeff sticking his little finger in my ear constantly because um, okay. I want to find where the bloody guards are. So I'm going to creep my way around and just tell me when, when you need me to make rolls. So okay. I'm going to creep over to here. Look at my wonderful site, just lighting up everything. Yeah. So we are yeah. all stood in the fucking orbit. Does it make sense for us to to make our way along behind them within cover? I, I'd hide by the wall, to be honest. I'd stay there because I said, you know, I'm going to do a recce and I'm going to find out where the guards are. Okay. And Jeff is just following me like a puppy. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, to find you up. <laughs> I'm going to turn into a dog and just wander around the corner. Okay. He's going to literally, he's, he's going to, I get this, I don't know, cartoony thing where somebody creeps immediately following you. Right. So, um, yeah. Devil, can you give me another stealth roll, please? You've, you've gone quite a distance there, so. 22. That's right. <laughs> I, I've not seen anybody yet, have I? No, you will see them if you see them. Okay. Uh, yeah, so sitting down, I'm assuming I don't have to assume. I can click the button. You can see that there's a guard sat on a on a chair outside the main entrance. Yeah, he sort of sat there having a smoke, kicking back. I, I basically just sort of wander up as a dog would, sure. wander past nonchalantly. 
Okay, it gives, it gives you a look as you walk past, but it doesn't take any action. You get him to chase you to the end of the alleyway. Chase me, chase me. Show him your bum. <laughs> give him a give him a stick. Oh, shit. I've got my familiar. Can I send my familiar up the alleyway? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. Up the where? If you've got a spider, oh, yeah. can it can it not check on the can it not climb up the walls and see if there's any like Yeah, it can do all sorts. Uh, uh Yeah, I rolled a twenty one. I assume that's alright enough. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah, if you want to keep on wandering. Uh it stopped uh 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 lighting up at this point. Uh, that's because there's no light. <laughs> ah. Good point, well made. I have Even my seed lantern. Jeff can see because Jeff's got night vision. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, stop lighting up because you got to the edge of the map. It's yeah, it's unclear. Right. You, you're at the edge of the map. Can right. I have a sniff at these barrels and boxes? Is there anything of interest in them? Um, it smells like the barrels smell like, uh, like vinegar. Um, yeah. the boxes, uh, you can't get any smell off them. Maybe a very slight grain smell. Should we be see all seeing this, or is it just those guys? No, just the it's guys. It's dynamic lighting, okay. yes. so you can only see what you can see. Can I, uh, so I'd like to have my spider climb the wall of this building next to, to the left hand side, this one here, oh, and then make sorry. the way along. Is that going to be all right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh. Sorry. Uh, I, I fucked this up because for some reason everything has gone weird when I, when I did the zoom. Uh, that is so cool. You should be able to find a zoom layer that... That you can yeah, use. for some reason, yeah, it, it started the whole map started moving around my character and it was weird. Oof. Yeah, I'll just check. so you can see through your spider's eyes, yeah. You just woof. Woof. <laughs> Not me. Uh, it's past the good old doggy. Okay, so you just you just blew his stealth. Who, the doggy? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so your spider's now up on the roof of that building. Uh, you can see that the uh, the doors here are, are like a double height set of doors. So it's, it's and a they're two, closed, obviously, because I don't see anything. They are closed, here. yes. Okay. And they What's are, this? it's a two-story building. Okay. What's I that? Ward... That That is a window. Cool. Is it? I work back out and explain or... to the others what I see. So the window is on the first floor. Um, it's not on the ground level. There's plenty of crates that we can climb up around the outside. Yeah, you reckon well, that just... you should, if you move around some stuff, you can get up there quite easily. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just go to this side. Uh, I probably should. Let me just do yeah. a stealth roll yes, as well. Yes, please. Because I'm a way bit behind. I can't even see that. So, no, 16. With, this, with the spider familiar there, because that's the way in that the, uh, the apprentice went through that door there, right? Yep. So the spider kind of gives us that view in, so I'll just be relaying, like walking in and out and just relaying what I can see. Okay. Still, still not there. Has the still not there. Has the apprentice <laughs> been around yet? No, not yet. So he's going to be due for... in a, the way you've been walking around, he's probably due in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's probably time to regroup then, so I'm going to stealth my way back to the crowd. I, I quite like the look of that window coming in. Yeah. But we need... We need but familiar, it's going to get us. Right, Robbie and Athletics check there, Jeff. <laughs> for climbing yeah, on the reason, well, I tried to like go down here, it wouldn't let me go down the alleyway. It wouldn't let me just go on the roof. <laughs> you yeah, that's, what that's what you, I had, exactly. <laughs> so you probably clipped up against one of the um, dynamic lighting things. You, you cannot move through the dynamic lighting walls, and there's dynamic lighting walls on the crest of the, the buildings, on the roofs, right. so you can't see past them. That, that would explain what happened to me. Yeah, uh, so if you want to walk, you need to walk on what looks like solid ground. If it's if it's a wall or an obstruction, you cannot move through it. Okay, okay. Although if you oh, if you do something that needs that to happen, I can move your token for you. Right. So, so if you right. clamber up on yeah. something, I can do that for you. So as far as I'm concerned, I've only seen one guard, which is a guard at the main entrance. But yes. we've got yeah. lots of windows at the back, so we'll just have a very quick whispered discussion about this. Okay. So you exchange the intel that you've managed to gather between you. Uh, yep. While you're doing that, um, the apprentice and this uh, this giant construct that you saw him with before come down from the uh, down from the north here, 
and you see that the construct has got what something wrapped in cloth thrown over its shoulder. And they, he walks down, he's walking very slowly. Um, the guard spots him, stands up, and uh, gives him an eye. He's like, all right, usual tonight, you know, delivering. And the, the apprentice says, uh, yeah, he's making a delivery. Then I need to switch layers. Then that door opens, and the um, the wizard goes in. Then the construct goes in, and it takes it takes pretty much the whole height of the door to get the construct in with with the stuff that he's uh, carrying. And then they close. That's not the door. Is the spider the only one who can see this right now? Yes. Okay, so I'm relaying what I can see. So I can see in through this one door. There's like a, a raised platform right to the left as you go in the door. Then there's some wooden boxes around. It looks basically like a storehouse. That's all I can really see. It's a barrels. No whips. No whips, but it looks things. No, uh, no chains. No racks. No. Nay rolls. Nay, <laughs> nay rolls. <laughs> okay, so. After it took about twenty minutes the last time I was in there, he's actually in there for about another about thirty minutes, and then the door opens again. The construct comes out. It's no longer carrying the thing it was carrying over its shoulder. Then the wizard comes out. Then the door is shut, and they make their way back north. I relay that back. Okay, he's left. Right. So as soon as Pandak Itchy Balls comes, we can then try and get in through the back window. Panda's been there the whole time. Yeah. Panda's been there the whole time. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, this time. But you yeah. get to sleep enough. Can anyone put this guard to sleep? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can put him permanently to sleep. We got... no, 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 we don't need to kill them. The whole point is that we're not discovered, and killing people no, no, would ruin the whole thing. Putting him to sleep they... is fine. That's I... Yeah, that's why the sleep question. Yeah, I can. I've got a spell that sends a creature fire. Into, a, into a magical slumber. In your hands. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> you heard of the story of the frog in the pot. Well, this is the here. <laughs> so he's, o he's only asleep for one minute. Well, that's it's not long. Oh, no. It's long enough to tie him up. Or it's long enough to run in the door past him and shut the door again. Yeah, but then he'll wake yeah, then up and realise. He'll raise the alarm. Why? Because we shut the door. He doesn't know. Because we there. sent him to sleep. Yeah, but maybe he just nodded off. Would you ring up and say I fell asleep on my phone? Yeah, okay, okay so happened. so say he does a perception check and realises that he's fucking. He's, also, how long will it, will it, it fall asleep? Are we how long will it take him to actually again? get in and and, what, and disengage what? a magical lock? We well, need him to be taken aside. We've got a key. No, there, you know there's a magical alarm on the entrance to the... Yeah, we need area. to make sure that we disengage that. Yeah. We can't just run in the door or the alarm will go off. Put him to sleep, blindfold him, okay. gag him. Devil, give me a perception check, please. 17. Right, the more you think about this and the wording that, that Tatia used when she was talking to you, um... And from how uh, Andar explains how the wizard went in, you don't think the vault is this um, warehouse. You think right. the entrance to the vault is in the warehouse, and that's where you're going. Yeah, so right. you think that's where the magical alarm is going to be on on the entrance to the vault, not on the not on the entrance to the warehouse. Okay. What's the viability of the window you saw? I, I, think, I think the window is viable, but I don't know how much noise you, you lot are going to make climbing up the crates. I can get in there so I, I, I've I got don't know the rest. Time. I can actually go in easily. Why don't we be safe? Like, why don't why don't yep. put him to sleep, tie him up, gag him, blindfold him? Because they're going to know we robbed the, somebody robbed the place anyway. So we're not we're not like, giving away the game by doing that, right? Let me before we do that, just in case we make a noise. Let me have a see whether I can get in through that window. Well, we still need to put him to sleep. Where anyway. it all goes wrong. <clears throat> so gonna I'm, I'm, I'm going to stealth off. I'm going to crab over here, and I assume you want a stealth roll and then followed by an athletics roll, and then I'm going to go to the window. 
I'm yes, back yes, junior DM, if you want to make all those rolls and let me know how they turn out. <laughs> of which he's got to feel all of them. Oh, no. Yeah, Self we'll, one, uh, athletics, athletics one. 31. And Jeff will follow me and, and, and get, get 25 and 30. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> is that, what is it, Stealth and Athletics? Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> he's good for it. <laughs> Other than the so, fact that we're now in, in, in we're now yeah, going to do I'm, I'm, I'm also actually wanting to do anything. Oh, I didn't actually want to do that. I just made the roll in there. No, no, he was, he was, was just I'm limbering just, up. I was just winding up, Dev. <laughs> okay, so you make it up to the top of the crates. You can see the window. You have a quick look at it. It does not look like it's locked. You think you can open it fairly easily if you slide your dagger under and and hit the latch. You should be able to open it quite easily. Yeah, I'm gently going to slide my, my dagger in and feel for the latch. Okay, you manage to find the latch and you manage to click it open and then push it and it starts to rise up. Yeah. But we can't no. coordinate with you now, Davil, because you're going around it. So we're going to have to sleep with this guy anyway. Well, unless you're waiting for him around the corner and keeping an eye on him all. So I'm going to stick my head in and have a quick look around. I'm still a dog, so I can still do the rounds okay. as a dog. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh In fact, it might be an idea for Aiden Spider to follow me. Yeah, because you can just talk to it. I can't talk back. Yeah. I can hear you speak. So I'll send my spider oh, to yeah. travel this on the, the window This is what I was worried about. Right, so, so there you... are two people. So I'm just going to whisper him. There's two people sat at the table around straight in here. Yeah, I see. So I, I, my spider can actually see now. So I'm relaying back to you guys. Okay, so left it when going through the door there's a, a race platform to the left but uh then in that same direction and about midway across there are what well, i can see two enemies two 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 males third. two there's a potential a oh a third uh, yeah. so where where are, where's your spider at the moment oh you're next to devil uh, literally on the box with devil yeah you can see the third uh, that third one is a uh, looks like it's asleep it's asleep on top okay. of the uh, the hay the other two uh, the, sat the around a table the, the, uh, one human, one dwarf and okay. this bit here is actually a, a raised floor, like a mezzanine floor are so they on the it's, it's level with those windows and they are on the lower okay. floor one Can of the I problems here in? is I've been, I've been playing a lot of stealth computer games and for me I'd just sneak in and then choke them to sleep and well, then, but of course on. I can't do that <laughs> hang on, let's <laughs> let's let's, uh, let's make this a bit easier I, I, this, the window open. Is, is it got glass? Is it a glass it, window or is it just a porthole? It's a glass window and it's open. It's like a. I've opened it. Okay. Um, so yeah. I, I go in. My spider goes. I take my spider in. Okay. Uh, and I would like to be kind of hugging the wall, ideally like climbing along the wall, minimizing profile. Yep. Uh, in this direction. Okay. Um. So still three enemies. They are located sort of in a triangle at the top of the uh, at the top of the warehouse. Where I see so, it, is that table at the at the ground floor? Yes. Yeah, the table's at the ground floor with the the, the humanoid and the dwarf, and then there's the raised platform well, area, the mezzanine area, sleeping person. So yeah. I can see pretty much all I need to see there immediately. So I'll now trans track track back okay. and climb up on one of these barrels. And then climb down to this lower floor. Mm -hmm. Still no sign of any other. So in front people. of you, so directly to the south, you can see a, a very large stone wall, which goes right up to this, the roof line. Okay, so I'll, I'll make my way along the side of that. Yeah, and poke my head round. Okay, and you can does see that look it, like a stone door there. It does. Is that like another. Yeah. Okay. So there's sort of a closed off stone square in the bot in the southeast corner. And then some other boxes. And that seems to be kind of most of the points of note that I can get to without potentially someone spotting this fucking spider running around. Right, so it's time to get back. So I'm going to have to clamber down and go back to the other guys. So I'm going to leave my spider in here, kind of. Yeah. You know, somewhat. So I'm going to leave the window open, Please. I'm going to climb down and, and go back to the other guys. And it's like, well, we've got four people. 
and we can send one of them to sleep for a minute. Yeah. One of them's already asleep, but as soon as you make any noise, they will be woken up. Right. That's going to be fun. Yeah. So we can definitely sleep this guy on the outside, right? I mean, we, we sleep when the we, guy when we, if we do, if we do fight with them, we can knock them out, right? So, as far as the D&D mechanics to go, when you deliver a killing blow, you can pull your punch to actually just knock them out rather than trying to kill them, if you want to. We want to? Yeah, but they would have seen us by the Okay, just in case. Yeah, do we want to knock them out? Well, yeah, but just in case we, just in case we don't we get in a fight. So how many sleeps do you have? Uh, well, uh, I'm, it's, uh, I can do it and then Four classes at nine, but I want to um, burn like four sleeps. Yeah, you don't know. Especially if we have to fight this construct thing, because that's still in there, right? That Probably. stays there overnight. No, the construct. No, it's out. Oh, the construct doesn't it stay. Left. Okay. No. Uh, it left. It okay. left something inside. So I mean, the, yeah. we, we can take out the guy at the front. We can take the other guy. The guy on the mezzanine is asleep. The two guys. So in every the sorry. Front. Double is every creature within twenty feet oh. of the point you choose within range are affected in ascending order. Okay. Okay. It, 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 but it's if I don't get, it's, do it's, enough, a good enough roll, they won't go to sleep. Obviously. Yeah. Hold on, I can so actually we, charm three. Go. Yeah, but then they will know us. We don't need to charm. We need them to never know who we are. If we don't yeah. kill them. They're still going to know who we are because they're going to be in combat with us. Not if we I, sleep them. Not if. So we can sleep the guy outside. But if you've got a range of twenty feet. So it's with the it's, sleep spell. The range is ninety feet, and then it's a twenty foot area. A twenty foot area. Yeah. So you oh, could. So we can, if we can get you through the window, you can send. All you could them. potentially, from that center point, get all of them. I with mean, that. I don't know what that center point is, but sure. So I can't say. Yeah, you could potentially get them all if you could creep to the window and yeah. cast from there. What's the D and D rules about um, knocking somebody unconscious? Which um, I know is very film and you, you can't really do it in the real world. I mean, world, the, but... the, literally the rule is if you reduce them to zero hit points, you can choose not to kill them, but to knock them unconscious. The only other we're not, problem... We're not going to manage if somebody, dabble If somebody's and... like incapacitated, <laughs> can you just do a clunk type thing? Is there a, a you know, a straight to zero type rule? No, there's no there's no straight to zero type rule, because that would be just that... abuse. I mean, I... I, I oh, yeah. yeah. You, you have, you have <laughs> spells for that. Yeah. That's where you have wizards, because they can do that. Um, so the problem is, it would only sit them for one minute. That's the joke. That's so fine. Really so we only need one minute. Because you sleep them, I've, we go I've, in, I've we tie broke. them up, we gag them, we blindfold them. Or I sleep them, and then I release a fireball. I'm waiting for Hold Jack on. just to fucking Leroy Jenkins himself in there. <laughs> Will somebody get a handle on him? Someone hold him? <laughs> I have Hold on, why, 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 why are we trying to kill them? It's like, like they're only guards, they're doing their job. It's like, so what, no reason what have you got, Jeff? Killed. Yeah, so well, what's well, going to happen when we come back out of the vault and they're all dead? Oh. They won't be, they'll be asleep, tied up, <laughs> and blindfolded. Alright. That's darkness on them, and just completely the blind them all. How long yeah, does it last? Then they'll, they'll be able to shout. Um, I'll take a minute. Why? What's uh, so we sleep? We sleep them. We tie them up. We blindfold them. We gag them. What? What are the objections to that strategy? I think that's it. That's the best way of doing it so far. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we need. I think. Do we even need to do the guy at the front door? No. Uh, not we, going we will now. hear it when we're trying to blindfold and gag the others. I could okay. cast um, thaumaturgy or press press digitation and just distract him. Could could Tom sort of turn into a dog and just go and like sit by his feet, and then if he does, the side of him. Yeah, <laughs> and if he bothering. if start he bark. does hear anything, Tom could then like. I'll start barking. Yeah. Bite him in With the, the nutsack or. <laughs> bite him in the nuts. <laughs> well, I can be your alert from outside. So if he if he makes any notion of of looking like he knows what's going on, I'll start barking. Yeah. So that yeah. you know he is aware and likely to, to burst in on you. Right? Open the door and like bang him, smack him in the head with it. Well, I can't attack him as a wolf, but it... Uh... Yeah, that that's going to be an attack and, and you can't just knock somebody unconscious with tooth no. and claw. No, exactly. So, But I can give an early warning and probably run away because I get a 60 movement as a wolf. 
Is this... there any reason we don't just sleep? Does it not make sense just to sleep this guy at the front door? But it's, yeah, we it's might as well do it because out, it, it, it will be in the way when we're trying to deal. It's the only thing, so we don't know what else we're going to find. So if I burn yeah, fair cop. Level... Fair cop. Okay. So first step oh, then right. is to go and try and go and try and sleep these three. Yeah. Okay. So I go up to the window. Okay. I'm gonna can have you... to show you where it is. So yeah. Yeah. Go to the devil. What do I need to do? Um. Yeah. Where are you going, uh, Sindan? Just going over here as a dog. Right, still. Roll me, roll me stealth check, please, if you're gonna be doing that. Okay. As a dog. Yes, please. Bear with me. Let me find out what the wolf stats are. You just left that guy. I do like this dynamic lighting thing, but it, I find it difficult to create the pictures in my mind's eye without seeing like yeah, the whole yeah, thing on it, which is, which is the purpose of it. It's yeah. totally so it's, the purpose of it. It's literally a long, obviously it's a, it's a long warehouse. There is mm. a stone square in the southeast corner, like a, a bit of walls with a door, like mm. a stone door. So we couldn't see inside that. Then there's sort of a raised mezzanine that goes out a few feet and comes round and then out the same kind of distance on the other side and then there's sort of a lower area in the middle the table some boxes two humanoids a dwarf and a human and up on the raised mezzanine area there's um some straw or some bales of hay and there's a a little uh, humanoid asleep okay oh. so uh sindan uh, you end up making quite a lot of noise when you go around the back of that building and the guard at the front hears you and he gets up and then starts moving around the side of the building. Who's that? Towards us. Towards us? No, towards Sindan. Okay. Oh, okay. I just look at him and go, Oi! Right, bear in mind you are a wolf. You're not, you're not yeah, a dog. dog. Okay, yeah. Right, so hang on. Scoot your ass on the floor. Just, just, just do it. <laughs> just show him your teeth. Give him a smile. <laughs> just call it and run off. Because it might, it might work. Right, yeah, it's, just... he's gonna throw a dagger at you. Okay. Uh, Armor class as a wolf is thirteen. He twelve, so he misses with his first dagger. He gets two attacks. His second dagger, uh, fifteen, that hits. Okay. Yeah. One d four plus three. You take two, uh, five piercing damage as he hooks a, a dagger into you. It's fine. I yelp and run off. It doesn't actually stop me from being a wolf. Okay. So Davil and Pandak, are you going to make your way around the back? Yeah. That was actually a perfectly good distraction for going around the back as well. Unintended, but it worked very well. Okay. I've just realised as well, dude. Yeah, so where going do I need to D&D Beyond, you've changed my um, uh, alignment notes. No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, they're different than they were. <laughs> what was that? That's what I misremembered. You, well, I haven't changed them, so... Okay. Was, uh, the only person know. I'm considering What's... messing with alignment notes is is Pandak, and I haven't done it yet, so... I think it's all fair to say that he is. Honestly, like... set people on fire, bro. What do you expect? <laughs> I, I'm sure. Sure, in the old one, I had a note on on my character sheet about human life being important, and I can't see it anymore. Maybe that was in roll twenty. Cool. Well, that's fine. I don't mind killing them off now. <laughs> oh, okay. Just... Oh boy. I tried to go against <laughs> the alignment predators, but no, fine. We can kill them well, now. As far as your character is concerned, these people that you're dealing with are, I know, I know. are the people that that the bad probably guys. Jesus, they're the bad guys. They're legitimately yeah. the bad guys. Cool. I, I have no problems with killing them off now. Right. I, I'm going to yeah. rescind all my argument about not killing them. So put yeah. them to sleep and it's happy with me now. Okay. So yeah, was that the stabby robot from Futurama? No. <laughs> it's yeah. uh... it's often in the Rick and Morty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crumbobulous Michael. Crumbobulous Michael. <laughs> oh, boy. Here I go <laughs> again. Stop, stop. Okay. So, um, Pandak, do you want to make an athletics check to see if you can climb up on those um, crates yeah. to get into the window? This could yeah, be you were thinking of nice. Rodrigo? Aha! No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, Bender is Rodrigo. But Yeah, yeah so the other one. The... Not Clamps, the other one. Yeah, uh, stabby. It, it just keeps on going stabby, stabby, stabby. 
Roberto? Uh, no. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, Roberto? Yeah, Roberto. Yeah. I thought Roberto was... No, Flex was bad bender, was it? Yeah, Flex with a mustache. It's Roberto. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the, the like, Yeah. Well, it's actually the good version. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right, can I get an athletics check, please? Oh, yeah, I did it at 11. Oh, it didn't. Hang on a minute. I think I need to reload my uh, log. Fucking shattering glass. <laughs> Tumbling um, dwarf through. You do, man you do manage it. You do manage it. Okay, so where am I? Up on that was, that was... Yeah. So oh, you've, you've managed to get up on both of them, and you can now see into that window. Right, you're up there, so I'm going to switch back to Sindan. Um, he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... 30, and he's going to go to pick up the dagger that dropped on the floor as his action. Uh, can he see you? Yes, he can. So what do you do? Um, can I run out around this building? Yeah. Around north? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. Um, Basically, I, just, I want to play hide and seek with him a bit, and if possible, come around. Yeah. Okay. There. Right, so Panda, your turn. Yeah, so I cast sleep. Right, so does sleep last for one minute, yeah? What, what are we doing with him? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, what are you doing? So what's okay, everybody well, else to... doing? Yeah, we all need to get we to need, where... We need to run very quickly. I Yeah, I've realised I've got the key for the front door still. I've also realised, so how, how chuck... are we all going to get in there to, to I, tie the... I chuck the key... Yeah. Okay, it's, it's not so the, the front door doesn't have a key, it's not locked, it's guarded. The key you've got is for the vault entrance. Ah, right, okay. Well, so, we the so these doors, these doors aren't locked, they are guarded. The plans are one or gone. more right, people, yeah. we, need to, we yeah. need to run one or more people to... with rope and with binding yeah. have to be there, like as you cast that spell. So, if you're ready. Uh, but, uh, my spider is like right here, so I'm gonna bring my spider back, and you can whisper to it when you're fucking ready to go, and we will bring people around. My right, acrobatics so is pretty good. Go outside, and how far are they from the door? As in, if we all get to if us on the outside, get to the front door. How long is it gonna take us to get to them? No, you're going in through the window. Yeah. No, my acrobatics is pretty high, so I mean, I can probably get through that window pretty yeah. quickly. Yeah, I, I can I'm, get through yeah, there. Same. Okay, uh, so, so okay. Hey, can I get up at the same time as Panda? I've only got um, I've only Yeah, got two of you can just fit on there. Well, right. the second, so before the second Davo can... casts, he can just jump in. Yeah. The second they're asleep, he can jump in. So I'm going to clamber up that crate in advance. So I'm just hovering there next to it, uncomfortably close to Panda. Okay. Okay. You want me up so at you know, so Ilkane and then uh, Gob go round. Oh. You're, you're needed. You might need to do yeah. stealth checks. I don't know. Uh, no, uh, they're I fine. You, you already. There's no one around there. Oh, okay. so oh man, that lightning is so cool. Really neat, isn't it? Oh, that was really fun. Yeah. Oh, there's a big spider there. Quick, kill it. <laughs> so yeah, Je Jeff, Jeff, and I. I think it makes sense for us to stay here. Because if that guard kicks off, the only way we can deal with him now is to kill him. So if the two of us are here, we can just fucking Whoa. plant him. If he kicks off, yeah, we're going to need to put yeah, him yeah. down. To... Right, right, so take down, but if they wake up in time... Yeah. yeah. Uh... We're trying to minimise casualties, but casualties are not out of the rules of engagement. Yeah. Okay, so everybody ready? Three, two, one. Uh, hang on. Contenders. Gladiators are ready. Gladiators are ready. You what will is? go on my first whistle. <laughs> it's better to get a Scotsman to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so I can only see two of them. On so the haystack. On the there's haystack. one on the haystack, and there's one on either side of the balls of the of the table. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, so you yeah. can you can actually just about see three of them. Yeah, yeah I can. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I'm going to go for the one on the haystack. The rest of you two go for the ones on the ground floor. Okay. okay. Right. I I I've got rope, but I don't have anything to do like eye covering. That's fine. Just 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 we can we can sort that out. Just keep their eyes to the ground. If necessary, just force their head down. Yeah. Tie them over and push them push them down. Yeah. Right? 
That sounds kind of right. kind of savage. But yeah. Just, just okay. imagine it's it's a really obnoxious punter. Oh, okay. yeah. That that's why I was gonna. That's why I was thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> so I cast sleep at third level into the middle of them. Okay. So let me just get that up. Natural resistant. Um, this pun's not going to be so uh, fun. Okay, so you <laughs> roll. Wear all asleep. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, so you roll 98. 98, yeah. And that's the total hit points that you Go can on. affect. Okay. Oh, you shit, roll yeah. nine oh, ones, sleep, and they go highest to lowest, yeah. Yeah. If you roll nine ones. I'm going to be so unhappy. Nine dear. Can, can I just can I point something out? One of them's asleep already. Yeah. Fifty-two. Ooh. That's a good roll. It's not bad. Okay, was not that bad. eight? Was that how many? Was that was that eight d eights? Nine. Nine d eights. Okay. Jesus. Nine d eights. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, not bad. Right, so you let the off the spell, and <laughs> uh -oh. roll me a... St uh, yeah, you're fine. You let off the spell, and you see this uh, uh, character here sort of start to go forward, and then catches himself, and then sort of looks, looks around a bit, so... What what did they put in this? Well, he doesn't go to sleep. Shit. If that doesn't put even one oh, of them down, that means you need like, like... Rog, Rog, is it is, oh, is your beer all right? I mean, yeah, like, yeah, you bloody lightweight. Bloody hell. Well that's that, more, uh, that uh, fucking yeah. plan. Alright, here I go killing again. Uh, <laughs> so, um, being, being that they didn't fall asleep, mm -hmm. I cast Fireball into the middle of them. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say charm person for this one. It's a right, wooden so warehouse. You've Fireball. done that, so the, wooden, what, before you do wooden that. Wooden warehouse. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Forget us. 30. 35, 40, 45. One of them is a thing. Right, so the, the guard has now made his way somewhere that none of you can see outside. Uh, Sindan, so what do you do? Um, I'm going to wander down this way a little bit more. Okay. I, I relate to Jeff what's happened because I'm in spider -D mode. Right. I they fucked it up, bro. They fucked up. I'm, I'm going to go for Leroy. Leroy. Yes! Hot Alright. What are you doing? To the grief god. He's running. And, are, we, uh, I, are we jumping uh, in through the window? We, oh, no, sorry, I want to cast him. Uh, well, I'm just seeing what's up here. Because I can't just see anything other than like blue. Yeah, there's no yeah, light, I guess. There's no light, yeah. That blue is your so, light vision. All right. How big is that window, by the way? Like, can we can we dive roll through it? Can I somersault through it? You, yeah. it's it's enough to fit one person through at a time. Wicked. I scuttle my spider. I scuttle my spider up the wall here, so it's kind of it's here, but it's on the wall, so it doesn't get fucking stood on. So um, on, these... on seeing that none of them fall asleep, I cast fireball. Okay, I'm just going to have to put something together quickly. So I'm not in spider mode. Do we, would we hear a fireball outside? Yeah. Okay, go. good. <laughs> Fucking dwarf said it again. <laughs> Look at his little face. He's so happy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Burn <laughs> it all with fire. Uh, I'm like front front you are the... Beavis, aren't you? Fire! 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 Ian's making a fire I move freely at the moment. Okay, I so... Um, uh, wait, can... Sorry. Jim, can I move freely at the moment? Uh, freely as in... We're about can to enter... I, like, can I just... I want to sort of go down here and help Sindan if anything happens. Right, you can get... If you're running, can you Sindan's do... Sindan's fine. We've can got him. If you We've do, got him covered. Oh, don't... Oh. oh. Stop clicking. Right. You can run 60 feet from there. 
that will make noise if you run, but soon he won't. It won't really matter now, will it? <laughs> Princess of smelling barbecue deliciousness. That's, you know, that old long pig. And 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Okay. Right, so, Pandak, do you want to let off your fireball? I do. Go to the door. Really do I love that roll. 29. Is, Sin is that Sindan just up from us there? Yes, it is. Okay. And I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop being a wolf. So Yeah, I speak to you and tell you what's happened. Oh you fucked up. Fucking dwarf. Okay. Fair enough. So you roll twenty nine damage. Twenty nine damage, yeah. To Holy shit. Everyone there, okay? That's what we're yeah. Oh, twenty nine damage each? Yeah, each. Okay. I don't like what Ian said everyone there. Right, I'm gonna... How much I... what's the radius on that? Twenty foot. Okay, so it won't hit affect us. No, where did you no. land it? Right in the middle of them. Yeah. Where, so where, uh, where exactly? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, right in so, the middle of them, yeah. So that on, on the balustrade, yeah. So That would hit my yeah. spider. Fucker. Okay, my spider's fire. dead. Well, okay, so... Yeah, okay. Yeah, spider's dead. Um, <clears throat> can you all roll initiative for me, please? Yeah. Yeah. How do I get rid of my spider? Can so, I include everyone outside? Yes. Nice. Uh, so I can't drag my spider off the map. I can drag it on, but I can't drag it off. You can drag it through the window. Uh, through. Right. Could someone read me the initiatives for you? So they just called. Uh, Davil, what's your initiative? Seventeen. Uh, Kandak. Eighteen. The windy air came through. Ill came. What's your? Oh, no, it's dead. It's dead. So it needs but to be deleted. Oh, right. Two zero. Yeah, it needs to be deleted. 20. Okay. Jeff, what's your initiative? Fourteen. Fourteen. And uh, what's your initiative? Uh, it's thinking about it. <laughs> frozen. It's that good. It's critical. Um... Prince, yeah, what's your initiative? Months. Yeah, go to somebody else. Uh, wait, it's not letting me roll. Should I just roll a? How do I just roll a twenty? Oh, I've Twelve. Got no dice in my window. Twelve. Yeah. Good initiative. <sighs> Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's, it's just bringing up the initiative information. Uh, you click uh, on the number. The, the button, the actual number itself is a button. Yeah. No, it's just bringing up the entire text window. And all the dice have disappeared. My Firefox has just gone AWOL. Oh, no. um, yeah. I'll have to, I'll just open it in Chrome. Give me a minute. Okay. We can roll you a real D20 for you. Yeah, want. what's what's your plus and someone could just, and we could just roll a D20. Three, yeah, if someone else wants to just roll and I've yeah. got a plus three, I guess. Okay, I'll roll you it. Uh, oh, you got Ian will. six. Ian's doing it. Six. Yeah, okay, so your fireball goes off and it immediately engulfs two of the bandits. And my spider. 28 damage, was it, each? Uh, 29. 29, okay. Yeah, What's one hit point to be friends? So it immediately catches this one and You're this gonna one. You're going to have to highlight them because we can't see. Yeah. Well, um, of them are fucking anyone, anyone can, who can see them can see them. They're, they both yeah. died instantly. This one uh, took a lot of damage. And now this hay is on fire. Oh, shit. Jeez. Jeff, by any what? chance, do you need a big dad wee? I think we might need to piss on it a lot. Uh, I've got Ray of Frost, I can calm it down, don't worry. So the Stop first first up is Ilke. Mm -hmm. You might be best to wait till I've gone through because I'm blocking. Unless, it, wasn't there a window? Can I get through? fire through the fucking window? Can I get through? Can I get past if he's blocking the window? So can he duck down? With your athletics, you could you reckon you could scale the the small amount of free space and sort of kick off the crate and grab the um, the windowsill. Yep, I'm going to do that. Show so off. Romy and Athletics check, please. Oh, wait, shit, that was acrobatics. The window. Acrobatics oh, okay. or athletics? Let's say acrobatics. Good, because that's yeah. the higher number. Let's say, 23. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you manage it, you manage to pull yourself up through the window. 
Uh, so that's five, ten feet of movement. Yeah, you're in now. I still can't see it in the room very clearly. It's all like fragmented. It is. You can only see what you don't have line of what you've got line of sight to. Yeah, boxes and stuff are in the Boxes way. block line of sight. It's really neat. Okay. Um, and then I guess I can move. Yeah, you got twenty feet. You've used twenty feet of movement. So. Uh, is that going to be a double movement then, or? Would you get forty? No, you can continue. You've got 40, haven't you? So you can just use I 40, do, yeah. and that's your movement. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to move. You can't go south, because that's blocked okay, off. You have yeah. to scale those boxes. Oh, man. So you've got 20 you've left. You've got 20 left, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably just move to there, then. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, no, I can't see I, now, I, so I'm like... I, 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 shout, I shout back that uh, there's still a dude in here um that's still alive yeah he's, um, he's, he's sort of batting out flames on him now it's like the bloody hell if you can get into physical contact with him i get a sneak attack bonus which will wipe out very so you i might we things i do yeah so i'm gonna um throw some darts at him okay <laughs> the fog of war is a really good cool, uh, aspect 24 mm. that hits that definitely hits and damage is seven. Okay. Does it automatically decrement my inventory for my darts? Or... It doesn't, no. It doesn't. Make sure you get them afterwards and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. I get two attacks per action as well, so I'm going to try and hit him with something again. If that's okay. Yeah, one second, I'm just, gonna, I'm just doing some maths. So, it was 29, the fireball, wasn't it? Yes. And seven, okay, yeah. yeah. Right, so, so as you as you, spot, you, you, you wing your dagger at him. Uh, 13, that doesn't, that misses. Oh, that was a bad miss. So, he, he gets in spots here, and then he ducks to the side as the other, as the other dart goes past. Cool. I'm done. Okay, next up, Pandak. Um, I see this guy still. Is he st he's staggering though? Yeah, he stood up and he's yeah he stood up. Okay. Uh, and I I cast Ray of Frost on him. What's the range on that? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Is that a bit overkill? 60 foot. Uh, yeah, okay, so it was a 14 to hit, was it? That so that was... Yeah. Misses. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> so he sees this frost come bullying out over the uh, over the balustrade, uh, and uh, it has no effect. Right. I, can't, I can move, right? Yep. So I jump into the... Into the yeah. Through the window, because I'm already on top of the... You can make your way through, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. okay, cool. So that's... That was what, yeah. Yeah, yeah clear, the, clear the window and stand by the, by the wall. Yeah. Okay. Devil, you're up. Right, I'm going to I'm gonna jump in through the window, do a leg of lass. Okay. Oh, he, won't, he won't let me go in the window. You need to go actually through the ah. window. Yeah. I'm going to sort of scoot all forward and then... Uh, try and try and King Harold him with a with a short bow. Okay, roll to attack. Fuck's sake! No, I won't. Ten. Yeah, misses. Oh, this guy is so, so lucky. The bloody how many are you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's now his turn. So he is going to shout, Dave, Dave, get in here! And he's going to go uh, five, ten. Of course, the guy's name's Dave. 15, 20, <laughs> 25, 30. And he's going to use his action to open the door. Oh, shit. Hello! <laughs> Look at oh. that scene. 
the outside <laughs> door. Seen in Home Alone. Yeah. Where he opens <laughs> the, the cat flap. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and he now sees he now sees Sindan standing outside. Yeah. And he's like, "What? Where's Dave?" And that's his turn. Dave's not here. Dave now. Dave's not here, dude. <laughs> You're my wife now, Dave. Jeff, you are up. Um, I'll move her. What? what the... Okay. I'll wave, I'll wave at him and cast uh, uh, Vicious Mockery. I'll just call him a cunt. <laughs> you open the door. <laughs> you open the door and something's just like, Hello, cunt. cunt. <laughs> um, roll, roll your attack. Do, do I, does he have to make a saving throw for that? Amazing. Uh, it's a wisdom 14 wisdom 14 okay. I really hope you kill him with that <laughs> that would be perfect he fails <laughs> have we lost the count yet of what how many he's killed with insults how much damage uh, only 5 and no he's he's, oh. he's very surprised uh, but he's, he's it would have been perfect. Dead. Sure, he is. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> use this in the whispers, really. But yeah, I figured that needs same spell spots or whatever. You've got some more movement if you want to use that. Um, yeah, I'll keep going up this way. So I was run past. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sindan, you're up. Okay. Um... He's killing. Yeah, just burn yeah. this head. I'm basically just going to do a very quick produce flame and hurl it at him. Okay. Uh, Twenty-three to hit. That hits. For two damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I'm going to move back to here. Okay. So he's like, just, what the bloody hell's going on? Dave! The worst day of his life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's dead and are you up. Oh, brilliant. Uh... Kill Dave or charm him. Well, I, I run up to the door. <laughs> it's the third person. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, Today is not your day. Yeah, you're having a little worse fucking time. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> and, uh, let's keep it nice and simple. I uh, I have my dual daggers. One of them is my dagger venom, but it's not prepared. So uh, I do uh, stabby stab. Okay, you need to get a bit close. You need to close to melee range with him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. So I get right in his fucking grill. Yeah. And I stab him with the first dagger. That is, oh nice, that's a 25 to hit. That definitely hits. And damage for that is five. Okay. And then I hit him with the other dagger, which is for dual wield, so that's 17 to hit. Yep, that hits. And four on the dice for damage. Okay, so you run in, jab, jab, right in his chest. He looks really badly injured at this point, but he's not going down. Oh, Gordon Bennett. This is why he didn't go to sleep. He fucked us up. <laughs> yeah, you may have noticed he had a, he has a high HP. Yeah. <laughs> it really isn't his day, though. No. Right, so... <laughs> he can hear a commotion going on there, so he, he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So you see the... Jeff, you can see that other bandit has now rounded the corner. And can oh. see you, but he's used oh, all his there. he's used all his movement, so he can't do anything else. Uh, you need to put him down. Prince, yeah. you are up. Um, okay, sorry, I'm still trying to work. So my rolls, I can't see any dice in D and D Beyond on Chrome or Firefox. So I was just trying to. Work so you out. should just um, um, if you look at your. Let me just get a sheet up. Bottom left hand corner is where the dice pop up well, is. Well, yeah, for the manual dice, but you should yeah, never have to. Yeah, even even that's not showing. Have you got a script lock or anything on? 
You matrix. I'm trying to have um. I don't know. It's what I'm trying to look for. But I can't see anything. Unless, Loading the edge. Um, Right, so Firefox, so, so ju just for example, if you if you look at your crossbow hand plus one, you've got a column that says hit DC. Yeah. Can you see that? Yep. Can you see the plus seven next yeah, to it? Yeah, I see the column. Can you click the plus seven? No, uh, it just okay. comes up with a like a, a highlight icon. Okay, weird. So I can click buttons for you. So if you want to tell me what to do, I can click okay. on my new sheet. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'm just going to move around to the front. So I'm sort of stuck in the middle now. Yeah. So uh one two three four because i can move 20 foot can i move twice if you want to do uh, yeah you can do it as your action so you don't have an attack but you can yeah. use that to move again yeah, i'd have to just do that two three four and then that's that's 20 i think yeah okay um and that, that guard from the outside dead no he went chasing oh, Sindan. He, I, can't, I can't see him. You can't. The only person who can see him is Jeff. Right. Okay. No problems. I guess that's me then. Okay. So top of the turn. Um, Ilkane, you're up. You can see the fire on that hay is starting to take. And it's starting to spread quite uh, quite quickly. Mm. It's not some meat on it. I'm just looking <laughs> to see what I've got. Rum. Fire. I've got a tender box. A tender yeah. box. Or a torch. No patrol us. <laughs> I've got a nice gallon cat. of mead. I've got an ounce of ink. So I'm going to run over and I've got some cold weather clothing. So I'm guessing that's going to be um, pretty, pretty heavy. Thick furs, um, yeah. So I'm going to kind of run over here and um, the interest in the. So I can't see anything here. There's no it's light. Still... There's no light. So you're human. So oh, so it's oh, light. actually, there's a light from the uh, you... from the hay. I will have to drop a light in for the hay. From let me the fire. Let me, let me drop a light in. Uh... There you go. So it's all lit okay. up. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm gonna try and smashy smashy and bake the flames out using my uh, cold weather clothing. Okay, can you give me a survival check, please? 23. Okay, Ooh. so you manage to identify where the hot spots are, drop your uh, your your um, cold weather cloak on it. It's like an, uh, an, a heavy oiled leather. You don't put it down fur side first, because you, you're a smart one. You drop it down, you start banging and banging away at it, and after a, a couple of seconds, you start to see some smoke come out of it, um, and then the smoke starts to die down. So you think you've managed to put out the fire. Epic. Um, I guess that was my action, wasn't it? It was. So yeah. good action, though. Two attacks per action, still only one action. Cool. In that case, that's me done. Okay. Um, but um, can I can I rifle through her possessions or well, on, you, we'll do that on, on your next turn if you want to? Yeah. I mean, she's very, from what you noticed of the body before you put the stuff on, she's very badly burned. Mm, like, that's how I like them. Uh, okay, <laughs> Pandak. Um, are all the fires out now? So I, I can just about see the corner of the guy. So I see that he's... And I'm like, I can't believe this. So he's that, in half that. cover for, for that, but yeah. Yeah, so I cast Magic Missile at level one. Oh, well, that auto hits, oh. doesn't it? So It does, yeah. Okay, how many projectiles? Uh, so it should be three projectiles, each doing four damage, if you're happy to take the one. Yep. They slam, slam, slam into the back of him. Um, he sort of goes down briefly, but gets back up. Um, he's very badly injured, but he's not dead. This guy's indestructible. This is crazy. Yeah, he's a uh, tough dude. I then use there's, there's an movement. like this. So. It's like the paladin in order of the stick. I then use my movement to um, move up. Move up. Okay. Devil. Right, I'm going to move forward to get a pro proper range. And he's he's in he's in melee, which means I get sneak attack. Are yep. are in the back. Okay, roll to hit. I'm assuming that I actually bloody hit him. Uh, where am I going? 
actions. Short foe. Fifteen. You line it up and you release your shot and as it streaks towards him, he's still trying to bat out the flames and he moves to the side, but then he moves back and it just catches him in the back. And I don't need you to roll damage because he's dead. Well, it would be four d six plus four, so it would yeah, he be had got, he's got one HP left. Yeah, he's, he's, dead. One dead. HP. he's real dead. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> proper dead. No. That went south. Um, I right, mean, I, I'm going to run. Uh, use the Hang on, we're still in my... This is another guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to re- use the remainder of my move to try and run over here to help put out the uh, the flames. Okay. Uh, oh, he's shit. dead. Jeff, your turn. Um, I see this guy here, and I'm just going to cast. Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's cast this and it whispers at him at uh, uh, level 2. Why not? So, that's Wisdom Saving Throw 14. Wisdom Saving Throw 14. Okay. He fails. Nice. Cool. Oh, of course, I've brought a fucking shit roll. Brilliant. Nine damage. Okay. Um, yeah. And it must immediately re. Yeah. It must immediately use the reaction to move as far as its speed allows away from me. Oh, crap. We wanted the other way. Was that the smartest decision? No, it wasn't. No, but it's, it's full Jeff, so. Okay. okay. <laughs> full Jeff. So yeah. he goes 5, 10, 15, 20. He goes off the map. Fuck! Oh, me. <clears throat> That's Sin- <laughs> Sindan, you're up. Need to rate oh. him down, dude. Um. All right. Do we know how far away he is at the moment? You don't. You've not you've not seen him. You just saw Jeff cast cast something. You you don't know anything's there. In that case, I I'm gonna play it as I see it. So um, I'll move up there. Can I use my movement actually to go this way. Oh, for uh... yeah, I, I can you, you can use your movement. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, uh, I can see this guy now. Yeah. No. Oh, you can see what you can see. Oh, you can actually, yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. see him as well. So he he's, he's gone off the corner of the map. Roof. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, you probably shouldn't, okay. but yeah, you, you managed to catch him moving. He's he's about I, I, another I, I five feet in front of Jeff than he is on the map. I'm gonna cast cold lightning. Okay. Uh, and because I can see him and the range is 120 feet, I'm gonna call down the lightning upon him. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to center it on him so that Jeff is uh, uh, not hit. He must make a dexterity saving throw. Is trying to dex fourteen. Okay, he saves. He takes half this. Twenty-seven. Three nines. He takes half okay. that. Nice. So... It's a dope spell. Mm. Okay, he's he still up. Fair enough. Unless he can move out of the hundred, what what range? He's currently fifty-five feet. So I've got a range of one hundred and twenty. So even if he goes off the side of the map, if okay. he's still in sight, I can hit him again. Okay. So uh, as your contribution to the stealthy infiltration of the undervolt, I've called down. down the Bolt of lightning yeah. from the sky, okay? Yeah, yeah, which if it hits the building would start fires, so, yeah. you know, I got a plan. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you're up. So, if I get to here, mm-hmm. that's my movement, yeah. how far is he from... He's five feet there? in front of Jeff. Okay, so... So, he's five there. feet further on than he is there, so 35 feet. Okay. So, oh, there we go. I'll go. Uh, 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 uh. 
Like you, can, you can move diagonal. Yeah, you can move diagonal. <laughs> yeah. So let's say I get to there. Yeah. Then he is 60 feet. He's 60 Total. feet from where you are now. 65 from where you are now. 65 from where I am. Now. If you were to move to that 30 foot mark, he's 35 feet from that mark. Yeah, it's just a little bit too far. Uh, okay. What I want to do is... I'm going to have to misty step um, to catch him. So I cast misty step okay. uh, to transport 30 feet to there. Yep. That's a bonus action. Okay. Uh, and then I will move... The... There. Okay. So that's 25 feet. So I'm well within his range. Um, I'm going to make sure I cast this step. And then I'm going to cast uh, <clears throat> Tasha's His Day's Laughter. Okay. Uh, so it's a Wisdom 14 save. Okay. Fails. Oh, that saves me. <laughs> Wasted one of my. Uh, Okay, so uh, if he fails, uh, he falls prone, becoming incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration. Okay. Um, presumably, he doesn't have an intelligence score of less than four. He doesn't. Four or less than... No. Okay. Cool. And then each turn he has to, uh, each time each end of his end of each of his turns or end each time he takes damage, he can make another wisdom saving throw. At the end of each of his turns. At the end of each of his turns, or yep. if he takes damage. Okay, so he can get up, but then he will collapse again? Uh, yeah. He can make a wisdom saving throw. If he succeeds, the spell ends. Right. Otherwise, he stays prone. And he just can't get up. Okay, so he has to save before he can take action. Has to save. Okay, yep. right. So it's his turn now. So he's going to try and make that wisdom saving throw and fail. So he's now still curled up on the floor, laughing his ass off. Um, so Okay, you can't do anything else, so Prince. Right, cool, I'm going to move up. So, one, two, three, four. And then I will just use the action again to move. Okay. And I'm there. Okay. Hillcane, your turn. <laughs> I can't see anything, so I can't. <laughs> the soundtrack uh, is brilliant for this. <laughs> Literally murdered four people. He's like, so yeah, I'm going to move just around here. I'm going to set this particular part of the adventure in a warehouse full of flammable goods so they won't use fire and try something else. <laughs> yeah. you, you have gained gained with Phil before, haven't you? Yeah. Well, to be fair, it wasn't his first thing he reached for, and no, we, while you've got enemies in the group, it is the most efficient way of using fireball. But um, so, if you use double movement to get there, or was that single movement? That's single, uh, isn't it? single, yeah. Yeah. So you still got an action if you want. Or you can move again if you want to use your action to move again. Yeah, I'll move again, actually, just so I'm a little bit more central. Okay. So, so that's another full movement, isn't it, of 40? Yeah. So, like, I'll, I'll move down to here so I can see a little bit less. Fucking hell. Yeah, I'll, I'll do me there. Okay. Uh, Pandek. Um, so I shout over to Davo and Ilkane. And I go, did, did anyone see when the magician opened, like, what the magician did earlier? And, where... and they both just ignore me. So Blank I... faces. <laughs> you, you did sort of break up in the middle of that sentence. Yeah. Nobody saw what the magician did. They saw them right, go in, okay. and they saw yeah. them come out. No one was okay. inside when they were inside. Okay, so I get the key out and just hold it to see if it kind of sends me on a... Like when you're looking for water with one of those fork things. Okay, so I, 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 I roll, think roll me an arcana we... check. Uh, in the interests of transparency, what do we need the 5G bio shield for? The alarm on the vault 
entrance. The alarm okay. stone. Yeah. Because it's in my inventory. Yeah. So, uh, 24. Okay, you attempt to douse with the key, but like most keys, um, it doesn't point you in the direction of the lock that it operates. Death of a key. Um, all right, I start walking around the walls looking for a keyhole. Okay. Remember when I, I described the area and there's a big stone area at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But as I'm, as I'm walking around, I look for keyholes. Uh, I'm assuming doing the arcana was my... Yes. Yeah, you yeah, spend some okay. time trying to focus on the key to get the key to take you to where it locks and it, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, uh, cool. Devil, you're up. Right. Uh, this, the flames are still... Have they been put out now? Yes. Right, so I, I'm going to venture with Pandak down towards the lock to have a quick nebid it. So, yeah, I kind of have the key in my hand so you can see yeah. what it looks like. So, where 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 is Pandak? Which way did he go? He I, was I right next to you. I was right next to you. That's hence how I was He might you. not have been able to see you because of the light. I can't see Pandak at the moment. Ah, no, you right, can't, okay. yeah, because it's so dark. I mean, you, yeah, oh, okay. you, you can't. See the key then. He was right next to you. Okay, well, I'm going to have a go down here then. Uh, hold on, how much is... Uh, let me just get some distances. That's 25, and that's... Uh, 60. So, yeah, so I can make it to the stairs. Oh, okay. So I'm going to move to the stairs here. Okay. And, and that's it, basically. Jeff, you are up. You can currently see the uh, uh, the uh, guard on the floor laughing his ass off about 20 feet in front of you. No, about 15 feet in front of you. Um, I'll cast Vicious Mockery at him, call the cunt. Okay. <laughs> what are you laughing at, you twat? With Wisdom 14. He fails. What are you laughing at, you cunt? So he looks at you, like seriously, and then continues to laugh, and he's now going to make a wisdom saving throw. DC 14, is it? Yep. No, uh, Andar? Yes. 14? Yes. Fails, so he doesn't break out the, the mockery, the, the Tasha's laughter. Nice. Uh, do you want to move, Jeff? No, I was going to keep laughing at him. Okay, Sindan. Okay, um... I see that they have this in hand, and plus I don't want to hit them with lightning. Or do you want me to hit him? Uh, I'm you're, like, you're like 40 feet away, so it's not like we can be like, yo, don't, uh, I'm don't gonna hit, lightning. I'm going to hit this area below him, which is basically means that the others won't be hit. Okay. Uh, so he needs to make a dex... Can he actually make I don't a think, Does he auto fail dex checks? He's, he's pro. He's pro, so just, uh, he might do actually. Um, so he might be a disadvantage. I, he might be a disadvantage, he might auto fail. Prone. Disadvantage on all attack rolls. All attack rolls have advantage. Oddly, no, he doesn't have disadvantage. He can just roll. Maybe he can roll around. So he's going to try and. Save, deck saving roll. What's the DC? 14. 14? 14. 14, he saves. Okay, half this then. Uh, he takes doesn't. another he, half of 23, so another. That is enough. Weapon. Okay. The, the bolt comes down. He manages to move out of the direct path of the bolt, but the the surge of power is enough to uh, to catch him and kill him. I do not wish to dispel the spell. I wish to keep keep growing the storm. Okay. So there's now um, storm cloud above the <laughs> stealthy entrance into the. Well, it, it should actually be covering the whole area now. It, okay. it can get quite large quite quickly. Okay. That's not going to draw attention. Sure. Um, are we out of initiative? <laughs> are we out of combat? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to be like Jeff, come here and drag this body back to the. So it's not just sat out here. <laughs> okay, so you grab a leg on this uh, yeah. smoking corpse. 
uh, and drag um, him back inside the. I check his pockets whilst we're dragging him as well. Yeah, obviously. Okay, <laughs> you find uh, a plain dagger, uh, sixteen gold pieces, five silver. Yeah, I'll, I'll claim that uh, gold and silver because uh, some kids still mine. What fucking kids? Yeah, but um, he got robbed. Does uh, Does Sindon still have a dagger stuck at him from when he was a wolf? Uh, when he uh, transformed when back out, no, he wouldn't. Um, if I can keep this spell growing, I can actually turn it into a real storm. So it, I will okay. uh, keep concentrating on this, and this will turn into a real storm. Okay, how long does that take? Uh, ten minutes. Okay, so if, if you've got ten minutes, then yeah, go for that, and it might well, just make it look, less I'm suspicious. It will give us some cover. So uh, you got ten minutes before we have to bug out. But then this storm will give us some cover. We need to figure out this this access anyway, so that's that's cool. Yeah. Um, how many um, cool? Okay. Yeah, head and seat. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I, I'm okay. going to light up the seas lantern so I can have a look at the actual stone wall. Is this the vault here, or is it down yeah. here? So you it looks I, like I should be able to turn a lantern on on you. So are yeah. you hooding it, or is it are you using it just open? Uh. I might as well use it open because okay. you know there's no need to observe. Yeah. So wh where's the door? Is the door here or here? Here. It's here. Right. So I'm gonna amble around here and just have a look. Ooh. I'm, I move back. Oh yeah. There Thanks off the wall. <laughs> yeah. As you go past me, I hand you the 5G bio shield. Like if you're gonna touch that thing, I think it makes sense to have the anti-alarmed well, thing. Okay. I can. I, I, I'm gonna have. Check. If we can... I, I'm, I'm going to do my thievery skills on so, having a look at it. What did you want to do, Jordan? The perception check on that wall, just in case there's anything that we need to know about it. Which wall? The one the that... The stone wall. Uh, the vault wall. Yeah, okay. vault. Think... Yep. Vault wall. yeah yep. roll a perception check. Yep. yep, I think I've got my stuff. And also, just to check that, I've got the dice working now as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. No. There we go. It's oh, definitely wow. a wall. That was great. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. Like, <laughs> like it says, it's definitely a wall. You don't notice anything odd about it other than it's out <laughs> of character with the rest of the building. It looks like it goes down into the foundation, oh. so below where the, the boarding is on the floors, and it goes right the way up to the ceiling. Cool. Hey, I come down and join yeah. Daryl, considering I've got the key. Right. So can, yeah. I do a, can I do an arcana? Because just... we want to make sure there's no wards. Like, ob like obvious wards or anything that get disabled. Uh, yeah, do, do someone want to shut check. the doors as well? Well, Sindan's yeah. currently outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's basically mm. we're all going to look at it from our Arcana and uh, a thief. Yeah. And uh, do you want me perception 20, roll? Twenty-four so the, on the Arcana. There's there's a very obvious lock on the door, but around that lock, and uh, you spot that it is there is some kind of ward or glyph on the lock. Can I detect any relationship between that and the 5G bio shield? No obvious relationship between them, no. I don't have the amulet. I didn't know there is one, so okay. You know, yeah. Well, well, Pandar's got the key. So well, it's, it's on the same key. key. So it was, it was <laughs> an iron key. Yeah. So, so it's time. Uh, I, it's but do time we not want to do, let do it? Do we not want to do the bio shield first? How do you enable mm -hmm. that? Well, I don't don't think we know we know how it works. Can, you guys do I guess, yeah. the wall. Okay, can it's I look like at a it? And, uh, is there a button? It's like but, a I mean, basically, there's a, there's a, there is a, what looks like a button on it or something to press. Yes. Okay, so I walk closer to the door. Yeah. And I'll. Should I press? Should I press the button? Princess yeah. Nepus is. You're the magical you guys. Go. You know this, Activate. not me. I can help with the lock and the go traps. Say, but... say that again, Panda. Quintus Nepos is the, what was the if that's was the one to activate it. So the, the, does the button just for show? A little bit. Okay. So well, as I... as you speak the words, you feel an emanation come from the device, and uh, all of the magic <sighs> users, you feel completely separated from the arcane plane. Anything magic within sixty feet stops working, and you notice. Hey, Good thing you're not within 60 feet there, Sindan. <laughs> what I'm going to say is you don't is leave that behind. Let me, uh, let me double check. 
You don't leave that behind, that's useful. Yeah, that's uh, fucking it only sick. Had the storm one, might... It only Fox had one, one charge. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that shuts my spell down, yeah? Uh, let me check the... Um... I was going to say, if his storm no, has already started, if it becomes a natural storm, doesn't that carry on? Depends on how it's long time it to get to that, I guess. Yeah. Ten foot radius, I was wrong. So it's only ten feet. Oh, okay. It's still useful. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Strip down okay. any magic within ten foot, that's re useful. That is. Right, so I then... Once I feel that all my magic's disappeared, I get the key out and... Yeah. But, oh, okay, so I, I let you know. I, I had a look. There's a, there's a ward on the lock, so to check if the ward is still there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kind of yeah. So you're, okay. you're centered on the anti magic field. Your arcane sense has completely disappeared. You can't even oh, detect the magic course. from your own magical items. But yeah, if our magic is gone, it's that magic must, must yeah. be gone, right? Yeah, so I stick the key in the spot <laughs> and left it. cube. Door. Okay, it clicks. And I right. walk through the open door. Okay, you open the door. Oh, it's fancy. It's very fancy. That was amazing. Right, I'm going to yeah, just step in as well, it. and I'm going to have a quick look around for anything. Right. Obviously, can we? Crappy. Can, oh, we can't. I kind of check in even then. What's right. That? So that's a, a light source, a, a candlelight. Okay. okay. So within the room, you can see what looks like a uh, a wizard circle inscribed runes glowing faintly with a with a blue light and in the direct middle of the room there's a small plinth with a a cup on top does this look familiar stuff. does this look familiar like does it look like a common magical uh method of transport or teleportation or yeah there's no, there's no fucking puddles or anything as well is there anything i've seen before You've never seen it, but you've you've read about magic I've circles read about and it. transportation oh. circles and. Are we meant to be okay. finding a whip, not a cup? So yeah, well, so we've also got the amulet with the snakes on. Yeah, the yeah. cup looks like it's built into the pedestal. It's let, the amulet. So maybe the it's amulet. It's cup shape, but it's more like a receptacle. So, hold, on, yeah. so hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're meant to be finding a whip. Yeah, this, isn't, this, the isn't, the this isn't, isn't the vault. This isn't the vault. This is the transport to the vault. To the right. vault. Okay. Okay. So sorry. We, yeah. So knowing how, knowing what these are, do I know generally how they function? Like, are we going to need to all be kind of in that room and before we do anything? That's what you assume. Holding yes. That they would okay. act, when it, something like that activates, it's proximity to the uh, the center okay. of the the effect. So I'll okay. wander back up and tell Jeff. And tell. Uh, be careful! You got the fight. You got the uh, the amulet. The fight. Oh, right, I had the five. Bio. I had the, the bio shield to Pandak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then wander up and get Jeff and speak. Tell tell Sindan you can come in now or forever hold your peace. Well, I'll come in then. If it's been ten minutes and the storm's sorted, then yeah. All right. So now my my, my pun sense is starting to go off now. Okay, mm -hmm. so I the anti-magic field lasts for an hour. Um, I'll say you can dispel it whenever you want, but uh, you did only get one charge on on that device. Yeah. Okay. So. Which 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 means the alarm might be back on when we come back. Well, we've got to be Possibly. quick then. Stop we it. can't we can't waste time. So we've got an hour. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do this. So obviously knowing how these stone, how these magic circles work. Wait, wait. Do we want to take the bio shield with us, or do we want to leave it here so it keeps the alarm off? The alarm off, oh. yes. Keep the alarm. Because we've off. only got one charge on it, right? So leave it here so it keeps the unless field. There's a shield, unless, unless there's an alarm below. The, but we, the we've already done the charge. I mean, right, is the transporter right. going to work if you have it left on? That no I'm magic. guessing it's resistant. I'm guessing it's a different type of. Well, if, if it's only if it only does ten foot, you can just leave it five foot near the door and that's or, or, yeah, 10 well feet. also also how would it be used in the real world because yeah, the person it, would take it with D &D. them yeah, the alarm would constantly go off if they kept if they had to keep putting it down it's not very secure that way you put way too much logic into this so, so yeah. we're assuming the dm isn't going to, hold on, hold on, to destroy hold on. us ian's about to say something pandak and andar both make arcana checks okay 
Yes. Uh, that's 24. Right. Uh, Andar, you're very confident in this. Pandak and uh, you think that he's probably correct. That you think once the antimagic field touched that ward, it dispelled it. It won't re-enable once you move out of range of it with the anti-magic field. Okay. okay. So explain that. Okay, okay we're good. Here we go. Cool. I, I've just realized what the hardcore track is in the background. So I take the... Do it. Yes, do has. <laughs> and... Do has. Is, is, is ministry just one fix? Sorry, uh, do has. Pop it into the cup. Okay. As you pop it into the cup... You see a light start to emanate, and the um, the circle right. beneath you starts to glow. You feel a rush of I magical put... power. Ooh. I put both hands on my crotch to protect myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, and I'll then close my eyes as well for good measure. <laughs> Solid strategy. Okay. All right, Harry. Right. Time to are raid those, everything. Are those pillars? They are. That's great. And you now That's appear ah, here. Wow. Right, so you're, you're, you're now not... you find Sorry. yourself stood within another magic circle. The lights dimming and disappearing. Uh, Did the army where you're off to? Maybe to. we shouldn't be running right. around. Uh, I, I'm, off to, I I'm off to take it I'm off to take everything. Like that's good that, that's a here. value that's not locked down. That seems like a really right. silly idea. We've got like so, a dead power. body yeah, down so here. So, Davil, you are standing in front of. Um, it look, it's a, a mannequin designed to hold armor, and the armor it's holding looks like it's. It looks very different. It's not made out of metal. It looks like it's made out of like pieces of insect and interlocking plates of chitin. Ooh, interesting. Uh, rough value. Do I think? You don't know. It's very unique, so probably worth quite a lot. Yeah. Right. Don't, so don't 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 touch it. I'm not going to touch top. it just yet. <laughs> uh, this crate here. What's a crate? It's a, uh, that's a table. Ah, oh, and there's nout on it. What's uh, on it, what yeah. are these? What are these light pale patches? They are light one? sources. They are they ah, okay. they look like uh, ceiling candles, but they're not. They're not candles. They they are glowing. They're glowing with a candle like light, but they're not candles. Did the right, so we just got this thing up. down here then. So. Wait. Good question, are Phil. They, are they, What's yeah. this? Are they, metal? So, oh, are they made oh, out of silver sorry. or gold? Uh, probably brass, by the looks of it. So yes, the the amulet is uh, now in the cup. Okay, so I pick up the amulet. And okay. Back up yeah. Okay. So I just noticed there's another room in here. Yeah, there's a door there. It's half half open, ajar. Do we maybe strategize? Are we going to go through this room that Dave devils at? We go what I want to know is what's this in the background, what? though. Is that, are you going down to look at it? Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go. So I'll you go down that. and you notice it's a big pile of ice and it's starting to melt. So there's a, there's a big puddle of cold water running down at the bottom corner. And on top of the big pile of ice is a body. It's probably one to investigate the body. brought in earlier. I, I yell, guys, this isn't an knob. Let's go. Let's leave it. Yeah, if there isn't good, a good point. Up, just leave it. Yeah, totally on board with that. Let's, okay. let's... So let's go through. I kind of lead the charge into this room and have a look. Okay, well, I'm assuming you'll open the door then. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, right, so you walk in and you notice there is a table with a couple of books on it and a ring of keys. Okay, grab, grab the ring keys. of keys. Can I take uh, a look at the books? Look at the books. Yeah, I'm a okay. big, big fan. Okay, there's two <laughs> books. So who wants to look at the top one? Who wants to look at the bottom one? I'll look at the bottom one. Okay, so top. the bottom one, uh, you see it's a uh, a, a list of... Um, it's got a note. It's written in a language that you don't understand. You've seen this sort of thing about, and you think it might be something to do with the, 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 um, the criminal underworld in, in a special type of writing, but you don't understand it. You um, will know that I can read right, that. I'll pocket, I'll pocket that. 
Andar, you have a look through the book, and it seems to be a log of deliveries uh, and going in chronological order. Um, yesterday, uh, sorry, no, today, the, it's noted down delivery of one body from the fighting pit for Hurtler's repair work. Uh, the next entry is from a week ago. It says Grey Gem moved to the main vault. Uh, six weeks ago, there is an entry saying delivery of three bodies from the fighting pits for Hurtler's repair work. Two months ago, um, there is a note for a delivery and replacement of Fay capsule. And uh, finally, um, three months ago, there is a, the last entry in the book is saying delivery of whip brackets room four. So I read and then I relay that to, to the others. So, so main vault and room whip four is yeah whip in room four and the gem we need is in the main vault. Okay. okay. What was the other book then? The other book is the one that Jordan had that had yeah. thieves can't in it. What was the other book, Prince? Anything useful? He couldn't read it. Well, he doesn't know. He just pocketed it. Are these doors here then? Yes. Actually, yeah. You know, if right. I that book, I could probably read it because I can detect. That's well, let's, that's well, let's what I was trying to say. Can we, can we sort of, like, maybe... You might have... Give it to, yeah, if you, if you pass the, the book to Davil, he speaks these can. Yep, cool. I was just... I'll give hand that over to you then. Take that. Okay. Yeah, I, remind everyone that, it over. I remind everyone that I'm critical nature. Yeah. Search the oh, God, it's Fifty Shades of Grey, isn't it? Okay. So, you... Open the note up, and it's, it is written in Thieves' Cant. It says, Oil, All loyal subjects are instructed to be on the watch for the following items. A small, dull grey hedron about the size of a fist, and a large yep. brass and gold device the size of a dining table, consisting of a number of coloured spheres. Should these items come into your orbit, they are to be immediately acquired by any means, and that's highlighted, and made secure. Inform your representative should you acquire or learn of these items, and a significant reward plus our eternal gratitude will be forthcoming. And it's signed G. Ooh. So uh, roll a insight check. Who? Oh. Who's rolling it? Oh, sorry, <laughs> Davil. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, I I have no insight into this. I will mention exactly what this says. No, roll an insight check. He did. I did. Oh, I, I didn't see four. it. Oh. It's a four. <laughs> it sort of tickles on the back of your brain something, but you can't put your finger on it. Right. Okay. I yeah, let's keep I... pace. Well, I've got to keep um, it anyway. Put it in the pocket. We don't have enough time to... Uh, yeah, we can come back. Time to I pass, you pocket I dimension. Over to Elkane. Okay. Um, yeah. Open that door. Come on. Could, do we want to pocket dimension and do these yep. doors first? Okay. Right. Because someone set my spider on fire. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing zombies, but yeah, I. Uh, so which door are you open? Uh, uh, do you want me to arcana check it before you fucking. Yeah. Just lock? Oh, then look at the door. Yeah, roll an arcana check. Checking. Oh, yeah, is there a number on the door? No, no number on the door. Uh, there, is a, there is a sign above the door, and it reads containment. Yeah, let's, let's not, not go in that, in that room. Door. Yeah, let's no. not go in that room first. What's the one at the bottom say? Uh, the one at the bottom says power. 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 Okay. Oh, power. And this bottom, bottom one. Uh, that one does not have anything above it. This is definitely like the main vault, right? Hey, yeah. Who's going to wait for Okay. This one here looks like it's double doors. So it I is, would... yeah. I so would that's go the power one. You've got the key. That's the one that says power. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. This one here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, power is this one. Power this is one, southwest. This one, one doesn't have anything above it. So I think we should one. go over this one because it's a double door. Yeah, give it a try. Uh, so... Can you kind of check for any wards? Yep. Ooh, uh, eleven. Nope. Nothing obvious. Nope. Oh, I, and I, I count 21. 21. Uh, no, no yes. words. <laughs> so I try the handle and see if it's locked. It is locked. I put the key in and. Well, there are several the key fits. There are several keys, so you go through a few of them 
and you find one that opens it, which door do you want to open? The top or the bottom one? Uh, well, it, it'll unlock both. The one further south or the one yeah. further north? Yeah. It'll oh, unlock okay. both. Do you want to open them both or do you want to... Uh, let's slowly open this uh, the south one. This one slowly okay. peeking through as it opens. I'm totally losing my face on something. Okay, yeah. so you one of those little it. girls appears. Ian, I think my character's stuck on the map. I can't move him. So uh, that looks um, like a zombie to me. Uh, you do see a a very large, like eight feet tall. Let me move you. Try now. Uh, an eight feet tall, giant creature that looks like it, it's naked apart from some something around its uh, its uh, penis area. Um, it's wearing shorts, um, and it looks like it's made together of stitched together pieces of flesh. I'm That's right behind you. No, I'm just, I'm just tapping you on the shoulder. Just, just shut the door. Just, just, that, just pretend it never, just it never happened. Slowly close the door. Roll a stealth check for me, please. Oh, fuck. I knew you were going to We're going to have to get into this shit anyway, so stealth check at least gives you an out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Abilities. Yeah. Well, 11. Uh, it turns and looks at you as you start to move the door um, closed. Can I change it to a fifteen? Okay. Oh, it's Andy's in chat. All right, Andy. Yeah, Andy. Hey, I Hi, changed Andy. it to a fifteen. Okay. Um, it still turns. Then it. Okay, it didn't notice you in that case. Whoa. Okay. So we might have to fight that, but let's yeah. check that other door first, just in case we can avoid that thing entirely. Right. I'm gonna open this door. So we'll give this a handle, no, a little wiggle, no. and. Oh, no, no, sorry. No. This one. Not containment. This one. Oh, well, containment. I mean, uh, what what um, the hell is worse than a semi-naked it? Fucking do, uh, naked. Don't, don't, As we get don't. to the door, doing our kind of check. Okay, yeah. doing our kind of check. No, there's no wards on it. Cool. Right, okay. Let's open so, it. slowly, slowly, gently, gently. Sneaky monkey. Eastern door? Yeah. The southern door, yeah? yeah southern eastern. One. Oh, is, is it not a double? No, it's, it's a one. single door. It's a single door. Yes. Yeah, this one here. Alright. Actually, it's best if Il Ilkeen goes Just first. Blast because... open. <laughs> right, who's opening the door? I'll open the door. Yeah. Slowly. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be like like arrow ready just in cases. Okay. Oh, fuck. Mm. Ah. Fuck. No. Nah. So, so again, you do see another we, one of those creatures. No. We kinda We're gonna have to fight one of them or most slow, of them. Slowly close the door or just fucking get for it, please. Have we worked out which one is room four yet. Nope. 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 There's no Stealth number. Right? Fifteen. Okay, you very slowly manage to close the door without it noticing right. you. We Fuck it, let's, we let's check have it. a yeah, let's let's check look the other door. containment. Because okay. maybe it's Maybe it's like a do not enter here. <laughs> yeah. Run it, run it, do not enter. Hold on, hold on. Everybody get in position first. We have the Arcana. Arcana 17. Uh, okay, no it's wards. It's a body from the fighting pits. No wards. Yeah, but didn't they mention that there was something that they had to replace in it? I want to see whether there's any obvious signs of surgery on this body. The one that's on right. us. Well, you could do that by right, yourself. So, uh, let's say you were doing that while they were opening the door. Yeah. No, yeah. it looks intact. It looks like it's been beaten. Uh, it's damaged. Uh, but yeah. no, no surgery. Okay. okay. Cool. So go through the keys. Softly, okay. softly, sneaky, monkey. Yep. Open a tiny bit. Okay. Four of them. I can see fuck all in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see switches. Okay. Do you want to open any more? Why do you keep uh, running away, Potato? I'm well, you've, to, you've um... run away now. No, that's not how that works. That's not how no? that works. You're stood there opening the door. You're not running around trying to get LOS bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Step in the doorway, Nino. Uh, You're the smash. man. Let's Let's smash the potato. Yeah. Well, you, you are fully, fully, the fully opening yeah. the door. Okay. Ah, ah fuck sticks. Yep. Uh, well, you did push you, so you're forward another step, because because Gog pushed you. So yeah. You get the encounters up. 
Let's get in. Uh, really like no, chose the wrong check, one no. to go into. No, you open the door. <laughs> that was a sly movement there, Ando. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like another door there. Okay, everyone roll initiative. Testicles. Right, <sighs> oh, no, no, 11. So, Devil, what's your 11? 14. Sindan. Uh, I rolled it. Why the hell did it not bring it up? 17, you got. Uh, 17, sorry. Yeah, uh, Pandak. 8. Hill Kane. 11. Jeff. 21. Oh. What? 21. 21. Okay. And up. Uh, 11. Prince. 21. Okay. 21. Jeff, you're first up. Um, but it's up here, isn't it? Uh, you can't stop there. What is that thing? It's another one of those giant stitched together humanoid. Okay. Oh, that's creatures. right. You guys can't see what I'm seeing because of the fog of war thing. Yeah. I can so I relay I back to everybody. It's a big, big old cunt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a big Deadpool looking thing, but it's not Deadpool for copyright reasons. Um, oh, <laughs> run. <laughs> you need what to get a beeper called? for this, Ian. Life things like that. Uh, yeah, no. Nah. I'll be on it all the time. Beep. Right, so Jeff, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'm just up here. I can see that thing. And. Uh... God, I can't, Jeff. <laughs> You're going to have to move somewhere that's not on top of one of your colleagues before you uh, do anything. I am, huh? No, you're on top of Sindan, though. No. There you go. That's fine. What was on there? Yeah, Sindan's there. Yeah, Sindan was there. No, you, Sindan's right here. Now, he's, now you're on top of him. Now you're yeah, not. No, on, on my map, it's, it's Sindan's on the bench. There. Weird, because oh, I'm, I'm looking looking at you. Where you are for me, yeah, he's, he's on that same. I'll move to it. I'll move to it. If no, I no, move... no, no, no. Honestly, I'm I'm not. Stop you must have desynced or something. See, is is there now? Yeah. But it wasn't there before. Okay. Yeah, it must have desynced. Yeah. All right. So uh, I can Just see. Just bundle it into the rim, bro. <laughs> yeah, but if you did that, that means you've got a cast thunder wave and I kill everyone. So. Unless you go in front of oh, me. Oh, well, it is so getting late. Just... If you want to kill everyone, we'll just call it a call the campaign done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TPK, bro. <laughs> All right. So, before the eight, so if it did do that, that might actually kill everyone. You don't forget, you can move so through maybe, people. So maybe don't. <laughs> Or move to the front of the, the yeah, human centipede of death. You can move through people, death. you just can't yeah. stand on someone and then do something. No, I'll, I'll cast the Dissonant Whispers at, at level 3. Why the fuck not? What's the okay. Conga line of horror. What's the same <laughs> thing? Uh, wisdom 14. It saves. Motherfucker. Alright, well... Wait, 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 Oh, no, 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 I'm actually going to waste it on that. It's going to take a flash not... hit wisdom 14. Yeah, it's got a bad wisdom hit rod wheel well. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, it takes half damage of what I'm going to roll now, so... Okay. Please be big, please be big, please be big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> 15. So it's... But she was going to take half damage. <laughs> All right, that's your turn. Unless you want to move some more. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move away from it. Okay. Prince, <laughs> you're up. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll sidle in to about here. Um, is it holding a weapon? No, it is not. Right. Uh, okay. Um, right. So, um, is it a giant by any chance? It's not a giant, no. It is, it's large, but it is not a giant. Large. Okay, fair enough. It is both large okay. and uh, in charge, it. but it is not a giant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I will... Hold on. So, I'm going to attack it with my crossbow. 
Okay. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, I'm just wondering if I'm gonna then. Okay, it's it's size large, right? So I'm gonna hit it. Oh, so I, uh, when I hit with a weapon, okay. So I'm gonna gonna try and hit it with my hand crossbow. Okay. So. Oh bollocks! That hits. It is very large. That hits. Okay. That hits. Right then. On. On the hit. So you you so gonna, you're sort gonna, of a bit jittery, a bit scared. To... You, you launch the bolt, uh, and yeah. it thuds into his shoulder. Uh, he just looks down at it. So roll uh, damage. So I was gonna, I was, you know, I'm gonna try and do trip attack on it. Okay. One of my maneuvers. Yeah. Hang on. So, what's that do? Uh, just to... so when I hit with a weapon, if it's large or smaller, I can ex I need to expend a superiority dice. Get this bloody text off my screen. Okay, um, okay. So I was I, like, it's that, actually so medium. I roll for damage. It's actually medium. Oh, okay. Not... So I roll for so so I roll for damage, and yeah. then I'll roll a superiority dice, add that to the damage. Oh wow, that's amazing. Okay, um, just gonna work out. So, uh, uh, so I have forty-eight. Okay. For superiority dice. Nice. So that plus the six is thirty-four. Yeah. And then it needs to make a. Blue then it needs to make a strength saving throw DC fourteen, mm -hmm. and if it doesn't, it gets knocked prone. Okay. If it's going to succeed, if it's going to succeed, I'd like to change it to a four. Then it fails. Oh, oh. Hang on, I don't know if I did. I was I supposed to roll four? Hang on. I'm not sure if I was supposed to roll four or just one. No, it says I can expend one. I think I only needed to run what roll one of those d8s. Right. Okay. So what did you roll? Eight. Eight. So I rolled six for the initial yeah. damage. Yeah. I'll roll one d8 for. Well, I'll take the first one. It was eight. Damage. It was. You, I'll take oh, the okay. first one. It was eight. So I need to add twenty back on. Okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and it fails its uh, thing, so it's not prone, is it? Wicked. Not prone. There you go, boys. Yep. It's on his ass. So... Nice. Do that for now. Okay. Do you want to move it all? Um, I can take my bonus action to hide. Uh, okay. Yeah, go for it. So roll a stealth check. Uh... Okay, you try and make yourself unnoticeable in the corner of the room. Send that. Okay, can I get... Do I have line of sight on him currently? Can you see him? Yes. You can then see Yes, me. you can. Okay, I'm going to hit him with the longbow. Okay. Uh, he's in half cover because of all the people in front of him. Okay, that's a 25. That hits. In that case, six damage. Okay. So you thread the needle uh, between okay. your colleagues. Hope you're and I'll oh yeah, it's he's, he's prone. He's prone, so it's disadvantage. So you need to roll again. Yeah. So you will you will get advantage. No, he's disadvantaged because it's a ranged weapon. Disadvantage. Oh, oh. Okay. So you need to roll your hit that again. Oh wait, so if it's prone, it disadvantage people with range weapons. Yeah, you still hit. Yeah. So he's taking his damage. I yeah. So that. advantage for melee attacks, disadvantage for ranged attacks. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to move? It's my favor. No, oh, I'm going to stay here. I've got a good line of sight around the room. I'm Devil. happy. Right. Let's have a look. Uh, I can just about see it. Oh, there's nobody next bloody attacking him. So I'm just going to have to shoot him. I don't get any bonuses. What the bloody hell was that? I don't know. Yeah, you why are you? Move on top of yeah. 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 Not not a him. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to bugger it from distance. <laughs> 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 I'm going to run up at it. <laughs> what? 
I didn't run at him. You did. You shot across the thing and stood on top of him. And no, I'm not. I'm still there. You... No, could we... I'll put you back. I didn't move. He's still there. He's not moved at all for me. He moved for me. He moved. He moved. He moved for me. He moved. Roll twenty is having a roll twenty is having a real normal one tonight. Oh, tonight. I, I moved the mouse around, but I didn't actually move it. Uh, oh, actually, oh, 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 no! It's it's roll twenty has decided to play silly buggers for yeah. me. Right. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to shoot him in the arm. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have to reload roll twenty. A disadvantage and half cover. So. Disadvantage. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, that's what does half cover do? Or... Adds to his AC. 15. That hits. Oh no! Roll it again. Disadvantage. I did. I rolled twice. Fifteen and fifteen. Oh, you did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, nine points of damage. Okay. You right click on the number, it will now allow you to roll automatically with advantage or disadvantage. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that either. Ah, oh, that's what? clever. Sorry. What? What was oh, that? send to. If you right click on the, the roll, the thing you're going to roll, it gives yeah. you a little oh. menu. I could do send to Dungeon Master alone, so all oh. those times I pick pockets, I don't have to just yeah. copy and paste it. Even works in the app. You just long press the button. That's well neat. That's cool. That's a uh, that's very cool. Do you want to do a move, Tavel? Uh, what? not really, because that means I'll get, be more of a target, and they're much better at fighting close too. So, okay. Unless I can get better view. Actually, yeah, move down there gives me a slightly better view. Okay, and are you are up? Uh, Ilkane, you're next. Mm. Oh, so I am going to. He would have to use his action if he's going to stand up, won't he? Half his movement. Oh, from, yeah, half his movement, yeah. Okay. This may not be a very smart idea. Okay, so I'm going to use my action to uh, cope my da da dagger of venom mm -hmm. um, that uses my action. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to be really stupid and I'm going to move right next to it. Okay. You do, you do remember you're now a wizard, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm channeling. I'm channeling Camney. Okay. Um. Because uh, I don't want to be in people's way, but also, no. If he does melee me, he'll be. be in the... The, the, the devil can do like double damage with the still shit. Well, yeah. Assuming I hit the. Uh, I can't have got disadvantage, so people can't be in the way. That was a dumb idea. Yeah. Cool. Carry on. Ilkane, you're up. Pandak, you're next. Are we going to agree that that's 10, 10 feet? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That is so destroying Pythagoras. <laughs> uh, yes, so agree. I'm going to, I'm going to run at him yeah. and use my charger, and I'm going to go with a Excellent. quarter staff. Yeah. Quarter staff. So that is a. 22 to hit. Oh, that hits. And damage is 5 plus then the 5 from the charger, so 10. Okay, yep. Bang! And then Smack! An... You, were, you were at advantage as well, so roll it again just in case you critted. Uh, Unless you the, did. The damage... No, the hit. Oh, you're a attack roll. Because he's prone, so you got advantage. So roll, roll to hit again, just to see if he would have critted. Uh, he rolled it with 22. Uh, 6 and 15, no, you didn't 6 crit. and... Okay, right. So, yeah, that's it. That's one attack. Um, So I'll roll advantage again, then? Yes, for your second this? attack, well, yeah. Yeah. So that is going to be 12. That hits. And the... Damage is six, and again, do I take my charger on no, that one? No, no, you don't. No. Okay, so six on that. Yep. Then I'm gonna spend a chi point and a flurry of blows. Okay. I guess roll advantage on that. Yeah. Yeah. I could wail it on this guy. On the <laughs> Twenty-six. Nice. Oh, that oh, it's a crit. Fucking get it. That, that is a crit. Yeah. So roll your damage, double your um, double 13. your dice. 
it, it rolled it's, as crit. It's came problem. up. It has yeah, it came rolled up as crit. crit. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay, 13, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so obviously he's analysed now. Um, and then if we're going on the two actions per go, I guess I get to hit him with another flurry of blows again. So if we roll advantage on that one. Because you 16. spent a key, a key point, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So that was 16 to hit. That hits. And damage is 7. Okay. You really you didn't sh- didn't him. Him up. Yeah. Like a rocky montage. <laughs> leading us inside the beach. Adrian. <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> Turns out it's actually friendly. Yeah. <laughs> so you he's did, analyzed. You didn't notice that he's not made any sounds at all while you've been beating the shit out of him. Uh oh. Okay. I guess that's me done. Even right. more okay. reason. Yeah. Right. Weird so, silent so, um, analyze means you get to know his. Um... Uh, so if if yeah, so if he attacks me, I get a reaction yeah. whereby I can, if I dodge it, I can hit him. Yeah. So you get he's to know his weaknesses and stuff. Yeah, don't you get to know his weaknesses for that? Uh... And if he attacks anyone that's not you, you get to do a reaction. Is that it? Uh, when an analyzed creature misses you with an attack, you can immediately use your reaction to make an unarmed melee attack against that creature. Benefit lasts till you finish a long or short rest. Additionally, learn the following attributes about the target. Sorry, yeah. Damage vulnerabilities, damage resistances, damage immunities, and condition. Right. Immunities. It is immune from being charmed. It's immune from exhaustion, fright, paralysis, petrified, or poison. Charm. Charm, yeah. That it's counts immune for venom. From charm. It's not yeah, immune it's, from fire, though, is it, Pandak? No, it's <laughs> not immune to fire. Uh, <laughs> no. That was I brought it up. <laughs> Did someone say fire? Pandak, you are up. I come into the room so that I can see what's going on. And then uh, rub your genitals on him. Hide in, it, hide in this corner. Uh... Now that I can see him, can I see him? He's on the floor and he's... He's on the floor, currently being stood over. Okay. Like It's like the prison showers. He's currently up the corner, getting the shit kicked out of him by a couple of blokes. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do Ray of Frost at him. Okay. And that is eight to hit. That, that does not hit. Right. Cool, well, I was useful. That's me done. Okay, that's so his turn. Help. He is going to spend half his movement getting up, getting to his feet, looks over both of you in front of him. Hello. And <laughs> he's going to make one attack against Ilkane. Yep. Uh, 21 to hit. My AC is 16. That definitely hits him. And he's going to do 19 bludgeoning damage. Oh, wow. He lifts his arm up and then smack brings it down on you. I don't feel well. And he's disad- <laughs> Is he not at disadvantage because... I no, stood up. No, he stood up. No, because Nino analyzed him. No, because he attacked no. him and he didn't miss. If he misses... Ah, yeah. Sorry. And he's going to make another slam attack against Andar. It's a melee, is that right? Yes. Okay. Can I counter counter spell him casting punch? No. (laughs) No. No. Okay. But he misses anyway. He goes to swing at you and he misses. Uh, Can I. Can. Uh, No, sorry. No, I think it's to you. It's It's extract aspects, I think. Um, Yeah. Uh, right, so that's his turn. He's not going to move. Um, Jeff, you're up. Um, I'll go back up here. Prince is next. And let's see.
Okay, I'm gonna cast the uh, hellish rebuke at him and just give him the middle finger of doom. Okay. Uh, so dex fourteen. He saves. Okay. Right. Um. So he's going to take half of this damage. Okay. Which is. Oh. Oh, 11. Okay, that's still a pretty big hit. Uh, do you want to move? Uh, uh, I'll stay where I am. Okay, Prince, you're up. Sindan, you're next. Uh, okay, I will move to melee range. Mm -hmm. And... Then I will... It is a prison show or beat down. <laughs> it is rather. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, attack him with my giant slayer rapier. Okay. That hits. So 22 to hit. And then 12 piercing damage. Okay. So you 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 manage to squeeze yourself between Ilkane and Andar as they're putting the shoe in. Uh, you raise your rapier. You put it up against his chest and just shove it in. And he looks down and he looks back up at you. Uh, and then he just sort of falls yeah. back onto the corner and it's off, slides it? down. He's dead. He's dead? He's dead. Nice. Cool. I want to investigate the absolute fuck out of this guy. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I pull my rapier out and then wipe it on you know, whoever's next to me. Can With someone tail. put? Can someone put some of their berries in my mouth, please? <laughs> yeah, hold on, I got. Uh... And act. <laughs> I ain't got my berries. I say you don't know where How they've been, out? but you do. So. How many uh, hit points are you down, by the way? Ten million. Um. <laughs> Uh, uh, 50, 60, 19, 19, yeah. Eight back. Oh, uh, and do you need some as well? No, I'm all good. He missed. Okay. In that I was case, really lucky, you know, despite my really stupid another... move. Okay, who was the investigating him? Uh, can I? Can I? Yeah, you get sorry. Right. It's got to be some kind of magic. So can I just investigate? I want to see. So you got another eleven hit points back from Sindan. Oh, another 11? Yeah, another 11, yeah. Okay. I just cut him open. Yeah, if you want to. Start carving up on him. Right. Yeah, because, like, what does his torso look like? Because he's it, got no... He's got no clothes on apart from these these shorts. He, he looks like he's put together from different people. You, you, like you can see... Animated... Yeah, Frankensteinian. Yeah, that's that's the impression you're getting off him. You can even see that there's different skin tones between certain parts of his body. Okay. Can I ask a question? What are these things here? Levers. There are five Wait, levers yeah. on the oh, wall. They are all yeah. currently uh, pulled down. Jeff, are there any labels? <laughs> any labels on them or? Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, does does the, right, do they all have before the oh, same what? level of wear on them? Is anyone more used Give than the me other? An or insight check. That's a good question. All of us. Seven. Not that you can tell. No. I've got it. Uh, okay. <laughs> we all just. Okay. I got sixteen. <laughs> Brute force it. Come on, look at this. <laughs> Uh, uh, number four. Um, you, four yeah, four. you you do th you it's do numbered. between you talking it over, you think that number four does look like it's a bit more worn than the others. Which one's not, is this number four here? No, that's a light. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. it's, it's hard to tell because um, yeah, this light in it, I couldn't see this room. All right, I was, gonna I... Read, I was gonna pull number four. Okay, <laughs> legend. Okay, you pull number four. Nothing. Nothing happens that you notice. Uh, yeah. Can I arcana check this body? 
I just want to see whether it's like, like there's an yeah, give, give you know, whether it's being check. held back together by magic. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute, boys. Hang on, hang on, hang what? on, hang on. The, is that a, is yeah, that you a think door it's here? animated? Yes, it is a door. Yeah. Ah. Animated by magic. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think we need door. to to have a little look at that door because I imagine that these switches maybe open up. Maybe they bring up. They maybe they bring up the vault to that yeah. door. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. No, nothing this one here. We did number four. And number four had been used. So maybe it was already there. Yeah, maybe it had already pulled is, that one up. Yeah, is there, is there a door the other side of this room? That... Yeah. yeah, there's a door yeah, here. There's a door here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Yeah, that's open. Right. Okay, let's open the door. Get the door. Get the door. Ah, always the potato. Get the potato. So yeah, you find the key. Slowly, slowly open the door. Gently, gently, sneaky monkey. Okay, you kick the door open. And... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the... The fucking goblin and the elf just ran in. But... <clears throat> okay, it's eleven o'clock. I think this might actually be a good place to to yeah. um, end it. Okay. Runs everyone runs in and everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> everyone just wants to see what the room looks like before they skip out again. Yeah. <laughs> Gelatinous cube. Yeah. I'm inside to the left. <laughs> You open the door and it's just a pit and everybody falls in. <laughs> cool. Are we playing next week? Find yourself in a spaceship. Uh, if you want to, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm up for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just noticed I don't think I've got Explorable Darkness switched on on this one. Um... Yeah, there we go. I'll switch that on. Because you, you, from, from now you've, you've not been able to see what you've seen before. So yeah, now you should be able to. No, you had it the other way around. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, the way you had it before was working. Yeah, no, I prefer it this way. I can't well, see the history. Can. No, I've just turned the history on. So yeah, you should, I prefer you should it. Now... It was working before, and now no, it doesn't I, work. it wasn't for oh, me. Oh, yes, I see now, yeah. It wasn't so, yeah. for me, so, like, I could only see, like, little slithers. That's you could why only I see what to... you could currently see, yeah. 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 That's so what I, I now you should be able to see everything you can see. Plus a grey area for stuff that you've seen. That's a lot better. Mine's, mine's the other way around. <laughs> uh, go and re-explore re it, Aiden, and it seems to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go in what? Yeah, it, go it seems a bit flaky. Move your character around. Reload. Control R yeah. it. Yeah, just move your, move your character around, yet. Yeah. Is there any way uh, to yeah, have yeah, this the, like, yeah, the tokens appear, even in the darkness? Is there any way to do... To make to the have play people's yeah no so you you can only no. see what you can you can only see tokens that you can actually see yeah. um so once they go out of sight you don't know where they are yeah, yeah. Sense. Not much at all. how much did you pay for this and us to throw you money no, it's, yeah. no so it, it's i had to get it because um i needed the storage space for all the maps and stuff on roll 20 and it sort of came as a oh you also right. get this so well if, if you do want um money back yeah. please do let yeah. me. Huh. Just drop us your Dogecoin address and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is another reward. Really All right, well, yeah, the campaign is really fun.